seconds screen, but we all never sit the bitch. Rising stars of the radio, now watch as we ascend. Seconds ring telling the truth, there's no need to take offense. Grand J. Logan in the booth, so you better pay attention. Good afternoon, Corvallis. You're listening to Second String Sports on 88.7 FM KBVR Corvallis. And if and you are also tuning in on to KBVR TV Channel 26, making their debut, <laughs> TV debut. Second String Sports. Feels good there to finally go. make that, you know, put the ink on the contract and make that uh that crossover. Yeah, you know, it's been, you know, been multimedia, multi-talent. You know, we've, been, we've been asking, we've been asking this contract here for a while we had some uh, we had some other offense offers from some other stations and cbs yeah it was just and couldn't decline this one bet you know we were just like man kbvr oregon state it's our home mm-hmm. we have to we, we're just gonna stick around why not just you know sign a multi-year contract channel 26 is just channel synony- synonymous with greatness man we're just uh we're just we're just blessing the radio waves and the tv airwaves man big things Big things happening. Bless up. <laughs> All uh, right. Yeah, we got we got back show today. Back um, show potentially. Of- uh, we do have at least, for sure one guest coming up. Uh, you've heard him several times before. The LA Insider Jeff Lowe. He should be up here. Uh, He'll be rolling around. Few minutes very soon. And potentially for the second hour of the show, stay tuned. We uh, have a potential of Jordan Villeman's second appearance on the show. Yeah, as Jordan well. Villeman and also Austin. Uh, it's also his friend, AK Turtle. Yeah, we'll just call him Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like from Entourage, too. You know, just like uh, this. Yeah. I don't want to call him a sidekick, but he is kind of a sidekick. Sorry. He's like the Entourage sidekick. Yeah. If if uh, any of us were like in Entourage, who would be like the main superstar? And we'd be like following the Entourage. Who would it be? Yeah. Mm. Who's the pool of people that we're choosing from? Mm, I'd probably choose uh, Strawberry Jams, who's our... Uh, you know, he he makes it big eventually, and then he's he's our soundtrack guy. So we got like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. there I it is. We're, it. we're following his entourage kind of a deal. <laughs> True. I feel it. I could feel it. Except everyone listening literally has no idea who no that idea. is. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we do have a pack show, as we said. Several guests, lots to talk about. Oregon State basketball, of course. And, man, it's pretty much just an NBA show, honestly. NBA show... Uh, basketball all, show in general, just ba- women's it, basketball. It, we can talk about that too. We are basketball seventh out. now, seventh in the nation. So, oh, it's, isn't that a, it's a, either tied for an old time high or it is an old time high? I'm pretty sure. Are you talking about for the rec, the win streak? Uh, not the win streak, but the, just the overall the highest like, we've ever been ranked. Ranking. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. We can look into that, but I know we're what two game two games away from the win streak record all time wins. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Pretty exciting. They're rolling. Yeah, was it? Mm-hmm. I think they're on a twelve-game win streak. I think it's fourteen. Is the fourteen is the record? So, mm-hmm. man, just, yeah, just a basketball show in general. Not really at this point. Not really anything football to talk about. Yeah, we, we we've, just, beat, we've beat the Super Bowl over the head. There's literally nothing to talk about. Ball is life. Ball is life. Now it's balls in our court. Got some Oregon State men's them, basketball, some and, NBA, and as our, our intern. Mike over here in the corner just uh, pointing out that it is also pitchers and catchers for uh, MLB baseball just reported too. But it, there's not much to talk about right there. But yes, that also just happened. And Oregon State, Oregon baseball. State baseball. Today. Today. Oregon like State baseball days. is actually kicking things off here pretty soon today. in Arizona. Yep. No, it's like oh, I think yeah, it's yeah. like I like, it was, like really soon, like in yeah, a couple yeah. hours or less. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's already happened. Nice. Well, uh, there. Yeah, the baseball Oregon's season. Baseball playing ball here. State today. It's here. Yep. Ping. Are you Bing. trying to do your own sound sound bite over there? That wasn't me. Mid Jake's rattled. That Definitely was. Me. was. That was that was. What's the, what do what the on Earth? Oh, oh! <laughs> Jake doesn't have his sound bites. <laughs> so we're different. We're on. Maybe only TV can hear it. Nah, I don't know. That rattles me. <laughs> we'll fix it. All right. Well, if if you can or cannot hear what I just clicked, I clicked an air horn. So use your imagination. <laughs> Let the imagination run deep with that. All yeah. right, let's kick it off. Men's basketball. Only game since last week was Cal game. Yeah, we only had. Well, we had the and, Cal. Oh yeah, because we played Stanford, right? Yeah, yeah, we um, played Stanford last Thursday. We've and, already talked. Yeah, we talked about that win. Yeah, so, we talked about. It, yeah, and there was Cal. Yeah, the Cal. Yeah. Uh, 
Cal game. Surprise, surprise. Another road loss. loss. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure last Friday we talked about feeling getting a road loss to kick off maybe like a streak of feeling good, but mm-hmm. man, we just absolutely suck on the road. There's well no other way to discuss it. Cal Golden Cal Bears, is very good too. They are they uh, we got Jeff Carolin in here, but you know the Cal Golden uh, Cal Golden Bears. They're undefeated at home this season. Yeah, and they're almost just like us. They got their first Cal got their first road win in the Pac-12 just the other day, mm-hmm. and so for for Oregon State to lose against a really good Cal team, it it hurt for maybe our, our tournament chances. That we're tournament chances. We're just trying to stay in it. Yeah, we're just. And we're we're technically like, oh it's far from over it's, it's yeah. yeah you know we have a game against Oregon luckily we do have the stellar home record too um, but and we have a couple of the, the Washington, Saturday is Washington very, schools is, are coming I think you absolutely must win like oh if we want to conference make, not conference like tournament con- wise like if we want to make the uh, that's or, a must if win. we want to make the NCAA tournament oh that's a win we yeah. need to be Oregon absolutely which is probably one of our more probable. Crunch, crunch. Ooh. And, strip and now, uh, you know, if, if this was second string via last year, the, the listeners would have just had to use their imagination what that sound is. But lucky for you, <laughs> you are live on Channel 26 for the first time ever in radio history. So yeah, it's not a simulcast. Yeah. Yeah. We're, shout we, out Nathan. Yeah. For so I'm calling, calling so Jeff out. He, yeah. he, he beat that over Jeff's head last night. He did. Uh, yeah. I got told. Surprise, surprise. Time. Look up at the camera real quick. Jeff, as always, is wearing another piece of oh, Los Angeles. I, I, I Angel- stepped Angel- it up. Uh, I got a, I got my, I got my King shirt on underneath, too. <laughs> Sweatshirt you go. is going to get stripped down at some point in the show? Eventually. Yeah. I'm thinking here in like the next five minutes. Yeah. It won't make <laughs> as much noise as uh, the rain jacket coming off. But uh, I think new, new Jeff would be very nice for our, for our first time ratings. I, I Did do you say, say nude or new? Oh, I said nude. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I don't know how many people want to see that. Um, I mean, there's one person really? inside well, of yeah, California, it, it, but uh, if you know, I don't think that would happen on a KBVR. Is Haley watching? Man, no, nah, she's working right now. Man, if that did happen, though, that, that would be uh, that'd be quite an interesting uh, debut for Secretary Sports. <laughs> may never be on again. We but may never uh, make an appearance on TV again. But or radio. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you know. That, <laughs> This that could just it could get pretty weird. Turn. Yeah. It, it's like what if uh, Second Street Sports d- debuted in a hot spa and kind of a deal, you know? He's just that'd be know, nice. Yeah, <laughs> spa, huh? that's, that's almost like that's almost flowing. like Jake was describing it as like you know Jeff's kind yeah. of you know stripping down and then just like oh we're, I guess we're just gonna debut from a hot oh. spa Second String Only Towels Edition. Yeah, you know you're taking it to a whole other level here. <laughs> All right. Uh, to clue Jeff in, we're just talking a little uh, Oregon State basketball to kick it off. Tough loss to Cal. I'm pretty sure we all kind yeah. of saw that coming. Yeah. About halftime into the game. Oh, uh, yeah. I turned it off with like 13 to go in the <laughs> second half because the NBA All Star Saturday night was about to start. And I'm like, you know, we're down like eight right now. Which hey, is, that is something we do no have to talk about. But we are, are making but, a comeback. But during that game with about five minutes left, Oregon State pulled in without within like six or five. I did check the score on uh, on the old ESPN app, and I looked at it, and it's almost enough to make me change over. And I was like, all right, I'll give it like a couple minutes. And I checked back, and they were down 10. I was like, all right, I made the right call. I'm sticking with the NBA. Yeah, and in that game... Trace Dinkle, who had twenty, he had twenty two points in that game. Yeah, eight of thirteen shooting. Yeah, and he also grabbed five rebounds. And it's just kind of showing the evolution of, uh, you know, we we talked about it on last week's show, how Trace has just kind of uh, made a huge step from coming off the bench earlier in the season, and now just finding his role. Yeah, and it's been it's been clutch for the team because uh, if. And not just a team, but also Trace. Because going forward, it's going to be huge for us um, making the transition of rolling with the freshmen also next year. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. And also, speaking of freshmen, uh, Derek Bruce in that yep, game. I was also, about to say that, too. 11 uh, points in 14 minutes. Yeah. He was. He uh, outscored Gary Payton, who played 38. He had like a, what was that, 11 to, points? To that point about Derek Bruce, Derek Bruce did have a costly technical foul in that game when Oregon State had got it to within, I want to say, six, something yeah, like mm-hmm. that. And then he gets that technical foul, and I mean, it was a freshman mistake, and you can see it on the sideline. Tinkle yeah. called him over, put his arm around him, and kind of said, "All right, come on, settle down." But 
Yeah, that, that was I mean, a bad mistake. I, I agree. Bad mistake can't happen. It's it's a freshman mistake. Yeah. Uh, I like how we. I, I don't know. I like his competitiveness. I think that's going to serve us really well. Mm-hmm. That was obviously a little bit far. Flipping the ball, you, you can't do that. But, yeah. you know, I think that his attitude going forward will be fine. You saw him go over, talk to coach. He yeah. listened well. You're nodding I, his head. It you know, some players don't respond as well to that, but he responded. If you had to get a technical foul, yes, that I feel like that's a, it's a light technical foul. Oh, yeah, you mm-hmm. could definitely make the argument that it that it doesn't even need to be called. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it, as far as technicals goes, that's not the worst thing in the world you can do. Yeah. There's very... Very just, strong. Just, just ask Jarmal Reed. I mean, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. I agree, but I I think overall, definitely the good outshined yeah. that part of it. Uh, he's going to be exciting to watch going forward. I don't know if I've ever seen someone as fast as he is down the court. Yeah, um, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's going to be he's going to be a tough player. Some some flash speed, speed kills. De- mm-hmm. Yeah, Does definitely some motto. speed killing. The uh, awesome. motto. But he, Cal's a tough team. Uh, they're yes. deep and you know, they have uh, Tyrone Wallace. He came back maybe like a week before in that game. And I think it was, and Jabari bird for Cal had 23 points, 23, seven and four. Yeah. And from like, a, you know, there's Jalen Brown, Ivan and Rab. Ivan Rab. Like I think J- Jalen had here 15 points and Oh, also Matthews, uh, for Cal as well. So they're just a deep squad who like any, you know, bird can get his numbers whenever he wants or Jalen can get his numbers whenever he wants. So Cal's a deep team and it's it, it, for a Cal team that's undefeated at home. It was going to be tough. Oh yeah. Cal Cal's kind of a lot like Oregon state. I mean, Oregon yeah. state, we don't have those, we don't have the top, you know, freshmen, I'd yeah. say, or at least with, with the notoriety like Cal, but Cal's a totally different team on the road versus at home, yeah. which is what the Beavers are. I, like I said, uh, yeah, mirror mentioned. image. Because they got their first road win against Washington. But that, that's almost like that's almost night. like every team in the Pac-12. It seems like every. I mean, obviously, it's it's without you know. Obviously, you say every you know you're better at home, but it just seems like in the Pac-12, teams are so polar opposite on the home versus you know on at home versus on the road. You look at a team like SC. SC is a totally different team on the road. They 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 lost I think by double digits to Arizona State on the road and you know they come up to Corvallis and lose by double digits to the Beavers but at mm-hmm. home they, you know, take care of business. It's it's just it's weird in the Pac-12 this year. Yeah. And it almost resembles someone of the like we've mentioned football team or mm-hmm. like the football as well. Yep. Yep. I don't know. I think it was kind of a something that we all knew was going to be tough. I think we gave a better chance than possibly I think we were saying what's like a kind of a 50 50 chance to win the game yeah i don't know we just we started too slow and you can't do that on the road uh admire the fight but uh just wasn't enough mm-hmm. and so now looking forward to saturday's game in the matthew knight arena uh with the disgusting court um, yeah that's terrible not, court. not, not, not fun to watch yeah, on it's tv pretty bad to no. watch. it's hard to watch it on hurts TV. the eyes um so what do you guys kind of seeing from that game it's it's gonna be another it's gonna be very tough one especially since we've already beat them at home uh they're gonna be fired up to play it there at at extra fired up um and it's gonna be a a tough a tough game to win honestly uh they're playing really well what are what are they now i don't even know i believe six they're, yeah, twenty sixth. No, what are they ranked? I think they're like I want to say sixteen, yeah, something like something that. Something like that. And they dropped they, like they five were eleven, spots. and they dropped. Uh, yeah, sixteen exactly. So they got killed by Cal, but yeah, they, I mean they lost by two to Stanford too, which I think is a worse loss. Oh yeah, ducks. You know, they're mm-hmm. rolling. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, at the game, so maybe you'll hear me on TV. But uh, trying to trying but to you're gonna be in the in the three hundred level. Yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the upper level. Yeah, it doesn't have the same environment as Gill. So. Yeah, their D League arena. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they have a D League arena. They don't have no famous Gill Coliseum. Historical yeah. monument like Gill Coliseum. Yeah, true. Oh, so, man. you know, it's it's gonna be a tough game. Yeah. Uh, in in order for us, I think to make the tournament, NCA tournament, that is. We must have to win. win. It's must a must. Win. It's a must win. Definitely, because that puts a statement win against a top team again. Because we've already been top, tw- yeah, top twenty team, yeah, top twenty team, and then we just need to kind of close things out at home. Very strong, and which is doable against the Washington schools. Against the Washington schools, like those are also must wins as well. Yeah, and 
if we don't get the game against Oregon, granted, we still I, I would say we still have a chance to make the tournament, but we would have to we would have to make somewhat of uphill, a little bit of a run of a deeper it's run. Gonna, in the Pac-12 tournament. Yeah. It's gonna be tough if we if we lose to Oregon because we're sitting at fifteen and nine right now, mm-hmm. and you look at a team say like LSU who's also on the bubble yeah. at sixteen and ten, and they kind of have a, a pretty identical resume to the Beavers, pretty close. Yeah, but I would assume. Uh, a tournament committee would, would be more likely LSU. to choose LSU because of Ben Simmons mm-hmm. more though, you know, over in Oregon state. So you're right. We do have, we have to win this game this week. Cause I mean, even the win over Oregon, people are Oregon. I don't think Oregon was, was ranked when we beat them the first time. No, they Gale. adjust. They adjust. And, yeah. Oregon has just kind of gone on this streak. So people can kind of, well, you know, Oregon wasn't ranked at the time, yeah. really different team. You win this game. You got, you got, you got two wins over Oregon, a win over SC uh, win over Utah. Those are f- those are five solid conference wins. And then if you can make a little bit of a run in the tournament, you don't have to win it, but yeah. at least win a game. A couple, get, like one or two. Get to, just the, get to the semifinals. Yeah. If you get to the semifinals and lose, you're you're in good shape to at least make an argument for yeah, the tournament. And in, a, in the Pac-12 conference, where it's just so tough, it's it's so it's, it's so close. Like it's, yeah. <laughs> well. Looking forward to that. What time is that game on Saturday? Seven. Seven. Yep. Seven p.m. Well, look forward to that. Hopefully, we can get some more Beaver fans there too. My uh, football coach from high school will actually be at the game. Yeah. Fun fun fact: he'll be in Eugene. He's a Beaver. Uh, He 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 went to ASU, but he's rooting for the Beavers. Interesting. Where's the connection come from? That Uh, his niece went to Oregon State. Okay. So, you gonna make another reconnection? Quarterback to coach? Um, not uh, Matt, I read. Well, I reached out because I'm I'm looking to possibly coach football over uh, the summer. So I'll talk to him over spring break. But I'm not going to be in Eugene this weekend talking to him. Coach Jeff? I mean, it's very possible. You could see me uh, on a sideline someday. We'll see in <laughs> Palos Verdes, California. <laughs> First high school, then USC, uh, then the pro, then the LA Rams. Ah, uh, mm. slow your roll with the LA Rams. I'll, if I if I by some miraculous, you know, if everything falls into place and by some chance I'm coaching at USC, well, <laughs> you know, I'm probably not going to the NFL. I'm pretty content making five to seven million dollars and working at USC. <laughs> that's, that a, that's a long shot goal here. Let me just throw that out there, though. I appreciate the, uh, the ambition, though. the optimism, yeah, the optimism and ambition. All right. So that's a that would, that's the extent of our football discussion today. <laughs> Jeff's Jeff Lowe, Mike Jeff's coach coaching high career. Team, yeah. Jeff's you uh, f- future coaching career. So uh, I'll be a great coach. I'll just put it out there. I'd be right. like Pete Carroll. If you couldn't coach and say if it was just like a, a just a life situation besides sports, what would you be coaching? So you're saying I couldn't. You couldn't coach sports. I couldn't but, coach sports. Yeah, and, but you like you're like a coach. Like you know, you can almost picture like ooh, a. You know what I think I'd do? I'd be mm. a relationship coach. There it is. I think I'd be good at that. Like I, I give pretty good advice on relationships. Yeah. Let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. Or Instagram. Or on Instagram at Corduroy Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's recently changed. It's very As fresh. Of like not even 24 hours ago. Trademark to me. Yeah. Shout I, out didn't, to I didn't McGurdy think you'd actually that. do it. Watch you try to change it back, and the day someone stole G-Lo yeah, G-Lo's show. Yeah, show six will be gone, and then I'm gonna be stuck with Corduroy Poppy for the rest for the rest of my Instagram life. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you do have to throw up a pic in Corduroy now, or else it makes literally no sense. I, I know. I need a picture from last night on the TV show. You just screenshot it from that. That that would uh, that may it would just make it look good. Yeah. yeah, it'll make the Corduroy Poppy debut a little bit better. Yeah, but true. Or I can just rock the Corduroy again. We'll see. That could be your thing. Every every episode you know, is a I, different I, colored corduroy, whether it's pants. Hey, I'll make a little Goodwill run Maybe here. Maybe a, cor- a, uh, a corduroy some fedora? <laughs> uh, slow your roll with the fedora. I'm not going to do that. But <laughs> I can I can become like the Craig Sager of corduroy. I'm down. Uh, I'm excited to see that. So that's enough of uh, Oregon State basketball and Jeff's corduroy. <laughs> yeah, you really went off on a, yeah, little, that was a uh, you know. little tangent there. Well, let's transition into basketball here. We can start it off with the, the biggest event that happened past weekend. Let's talk about that. Just just a little shout out. Uh, the last episode is currently up to 780 views on our YouTube. Man, just the fans love the All-Star Weekend of Second string Sports. <laughs> Even though the All-Star didn't, hadn't existed yet when we talked about it last week, so much more relevant this week. That ours already happened. So yeah, even even uh, my girlfriend commented on how many views that had 
it, it had already. She was impressed. Wait, really? Yeah. She tuned in? Uh, for the last like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was really it, the extent of her uh listening. So what, what can I say? Wait, Fans love All Star Second String. Wait, what did you do? Uh, what did you title the the podcast as? 2016 NBA All Star Weekend Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> the Second String Sports, the ultimate tr- ultimate trolls. More. Than I put it, I put a a an annotation up that starts when you start the the video that says All Star Talk starts at one hour eleven minutes into yeah. the two hour show. <laughs> so. We we try to stay faithful to the viewers. You're you're, you're just baiting, baiting viewers. That's okay. Yeah. Anything you know, it's anything to draw baiting, in new fans, right? It's, all good. it's the era of clickbait. We live in it. Because yeah. you know, if, the, if someone just comes across, be like, "Man, these guys are cool." Man, we're going to tune in more of these guys. Yeah. Listen yeah. to their podcast. Next thing you know, you're Trying on ESPN at, uh, taking out Mike and Mike, and yeah, but, you know, and since we're now we're, now we're now that we're a dual threat, <laughs> our dual threat. our 2015 All Star. NBA weekend New York video is up to 3,000 views with only 42 dislikes. Hmm. Out, well, out of how many likes? Nine likes. Okay, I was going to say, because I looked at the video the other night and it had like nine dislikes to one like, so I had to upvote it and make it two. It's got two likes, six dislikes. I'm one of those two. <laughs> two likes, six dislikes. You know, I think Jeff said it last night. We all got haters. <laughs> we all got haters. If you, That's got, true. If, you, if you ain't got haters, you ain't popping. Yeah. Yeah. Just ask yeah. Roger Goodell. We I all got haters. Jeff brings the views to the show. I guess so with that uh that California market. <laughs> Sun shining and feeling nice and nice and bright for all the TV viewers. Yeah, it was looking it was looking pretty gloomy up in here. Yeah. The LA the LA presence of Jeff brought the light back in. That's so. it. All right. King's King shirt on, Dodger hat. The sun's out, man. Second week in a row. Now let's actually talk about the All-Star weekend. First thoughts. Let's just talk about the whole weekend, starting with each, each competition, each category. Skills comp. What do you guys think? I liked it. I thought it was. I thought it was exciting to see the uh, the big guys versus the little guys. It was. It added it, a, a little extra edge to it. Yeah, I was disappointed. Jordan Clarkson got knocked out by uh, CJ McCollum in the first round, but that's and then just, CJ fumbled it up second round. But that's yeah, okay. But he was dude. No one was going to beat Isaiah Thomas on the on yeah. out, out of the guards. Isaiah Thomas demon. was just on a mission to win that. But Carl Anthony Towns looked awesome. That was so cool. Yeah, the reaction afterwards yeah. and after Carl Anthony Towns wins, it was pretty funny with all the big man just celebrating with him. <laughs> they celebrated their moment. Big man stayed together. <laughs> True. I, I really liked the format of it. Uh, I think adding the big man elements was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, overall, I mean, obviously I was rooting for CJ. That didn't work out. But, you know. I was proud of him for a first time All Star weekend. You know, at least just winning one round, one round of one comp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll get into that also. But I liked it. I thought Skills Challenge was entertaining. Mm. So now, for next year, are you just are we hoping that it stays exactly the same? I wouldn't change it. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't change it either. I mean. I don't know. From what, everything I've seen, people have liked it. Yeah, I like the bracket. I like that you put a big guy versus a little guy in the end. I mm-hmm. thought that was I thought that was entertaining. I mean, and especially now the NBA is transitioning to where you get these you know six nine six ten athletic freaks who can shoot the three and it's handle a new, the ball. New era. Yeah, it's a new era of, of NBA basketball it's where a, everyone's looking for this like stretch it. awesome, stretch four tweener you know athletic type. So mm-hmm. I, I liked it. I think I thought it was a really good idea by the NBA. Yep, agreed. So now let's move on to the next competition. Three point competition. Clay took home the gold. You know, we said it last week. Uh, if if we had to choose uh, anybody, yeah. we'd to all save, be alive still. If we we'd had to save alive, your life, yeah. we'd, we'd all be alive. We pick Clay. So true. So, so I guess, I guess uh, Clay spared our lives. And can then. we, even though he performed <laughs> semi poorly, can we just point out that we all pretty much did predict that CJ would be the replacement for Chris Bosh, and it came true. 30 minutes after we went off air. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I'm not a Portland it was fan, a safe obviously, bet, but I thought, I mean, like I'd be psyched for CJ, you know, especially finding out, you know, a day before and then having to go really have no prep. I mean, I know you don't need a whole lot he put of prep up 14. That's he put about, up four, he didn't finish last. So that's good. He didn't finish last. What did, uh, what did James Harden put up? Uh, like 20. Cause uh, Harden put up okay. twenty, yeah, he Reddick did. put up twenty, and Devin Booker put up twenty, and they went to that shoot off. Mm-hmm. I was happy for Devin Booker. That was that was cool for a yeah. nineteen year old. Yeah, and like we said, you know, just nineteen, just rolling into skills competition casually. Just, yeah, that's that's a Kentucky blue right there. 
Kentucky blue blood. Yeah, just super cash. Just knowing knowing you belong in the league, nothing else. Yeah, I was actually really impressed with him too. I was, if you look at his face too, he looks so young. Yeah, that was yeah. something I was just shocked at. He, yeah. he got up and I was like, "This dude does look nineteen, if nineteen. Like he's nineteen. I just turned twenty three, and I'm <laughs> watching him do this. Yeah, <laughs> there's something off here. Like, yep. where where did it go wrong in my life that <laughs> I'm now watching him and he's five years younger than or four years younger than me? <laughs> yeah. So three point, pretty uh normal <laughs> three point yeah contest. It was cool to see someone other than Steph win. Yeah, granted well, it was know, Clay. L- last, so. last, <laughs> granted it was Clay. last year. It was also Clay versus Steph. Yeah. So it's a it's a repeat. It is what it is. Yeah, and. Yeah, just Golden State is just doing unreal things. We can talk about that later as well. Ugh. Gross. On to uh, the best event. Mm-hmm. Dunk contest. All right. Man, I really wish I had... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, you go into one area of media, something goes wrong. It just throws your game off. Yeah, now we don't. We don't have. We don't. If some if breaking news happens, maybe, the eagle wouldn't be heard. We'll put a. Well, maybe we'll put a couple uh, PSAs here. Maybe we'll figure it out. I just, hmm. man, very depressing day. Yeah. All right. Dunk contest. Reactions. Awestruck. It was sick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> In one word. Yeah. Well. You know, I haven't should, felt that way about a dunk contest probably since like the the Dwight Superman. I, I think that was the best dunk contest I've ever seen because it was just it was skill like it was like yeah. it, was, it wasn't well they 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 had theatrics there was with some, the yeah well but and it, got the to the, it got to the that, point but. too where when they're going on this dunk off and it's like neither one is prepared for this and they're just kind of pulling stuff out of a hat, you know, going, all right, well, hopefully this works. And yeah, it was really even cool. Zach Levine was saying like, we were at a point where we, we hadn't yeah. practiced what we were doing. Yeah. That's I mean, why even and, they and, were and surprised I mean, when both they pulled of them it off. were landing these just ridiculous dunks. Yeah. First try, you know, it was, it was really cool. To it's watch. just an unreal bounce. Yeah. Like they just jump. Like I, I, you know, at my house, you know, I have a trampoline. I put a basketball hoop right there. Who doesn't? And, yeah. And you just, you know, you back basketball trampoline tricks. And that's practically what they were doing. Yeah. It's just there's bouncing on a trampoline on court. Zach Levine jumped over a mascot on a hoverboard and like went full vertical, like fully horizontal, like two. Like that was just crazy. Yeah. Like I don't even know how to describe it. Or when he s- literally sat in midair. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Aaron Gordon? Aaron Gordon. Yeah. Aaron yeah, Gordon. Yeah, I, what yeah. did I say? Zach, Zach Levine, but yeah. Zach, Zach Levine. had it equally. Zach Both of them, though. I meant Aaron Gordon. The free throw takeoff. Both of them went to Pac-12 schools. It's a mm-hmm. common mistake. Yeah, you know, just repping the pack. Yeah, yep. back There's to the pack. Yeah, that's why I was hoping Isaiah Thomas would win the skills one, too, because then... Yeah, he, he went to Washington, though. Went to, like, still, back to pack. Eh. <laughs> Unless it's Oregon. I don't, back back, back. don't back Oregon. Yeah. yeah, don't back Oregon. But anyone else. Anyone back, else, you can back, back the pack, pack yeah. minus Oregon. And, yeah, and then always. Washington. And Wash. And yeah. Wash the Wash. How do you root for Washington? Well... They're not that's Oregon. another, that's another They're not discussion. <laughs> Let's bring him back to the dunk contest. We should do a Pac-12 school rankings. Oh man, <laughs> let's do it. I'm all about this. Yeah, we'll do it later in the show. That 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 fills some time. Um, are we all at a consensus that we think Aaron Gordon should have won? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> yes, but at the same time, same with Zach Levine. It should have just. They should have just cut the trophy in half. Yeah, it should have been it a cut. Both of them. Agreed. Cut the trophy in half. Even Zach said that he's like, I'm not. I'm not upset that 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 Zach Levine won. No, because we know? still got to yeah. win. Because he it. definitely he, he definitely deserved it. it what do they like, do? They each did five dunks for five yeah, or six. The honestly, final was like two hundred to one ninety seven. Because I I don't know. I thought Gordon got got hosed a little bit on mm. that last dunk where he goes all the way back and all the way forward. I thought that was really cool. Like I'd never seen that before, and he got a forty seven on it. Jake, did you uh, particularly like Aaron Gordon's dunk with the hoverboard because you are part yeah. of the hoverboard squad? You see my Snapchat hoverboard yeah. nation stand up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would hoverboard you uh, nation stand up? Yeah. How much money would you pay to be in that mascot <laughs> on the hoverboard? Well, no one would know it was me, so yeah, nothing. 
You wouldn't pay anything. So you would just do. Do I get to also like partake and like hang out backstage and like just be there, or am I on the mm. hoverboard mascot and then out of there? You roll into the stadium on the hoverboard inside the mascot costume, and you roll back out after he completes his dunk. I never get to take my head off or tell anyone that it was me. No. I even put it up on Instagram and be like, "This is me," even though no one would believe. You can do that. You can do that. You can say this was me, and you can let the people decide if that was actually you. Everyone would say no, but <laughs> this was me, guys. This is me. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Shut up. Uh, I'd pay fifty bucks just for the experience, just to be, cl- just to be in. To be court just to know is pretty myself. cool, and to like get dunked over is also kind of. It's pretty cool. Oh, well, it's yeah. happened to me. Oh, um, that's true. How could I forget your top yeah. play on Beaver Sports I already show last am, night? I'm number one, so yeah, Jake was number one. <laughs> yeah, I'd pay, oh, I'd pay a solid fifty bucks to do that. But yeah, hoverboard nation stand up. <laughs> yeah, if I had a soundbite, I would do a hoverboard soundbite that I just pick on the spot. But what's your What's your opinion on the uh, the hoverboard ban on campus? Mm. I mean, with this weather, it's not like anyone can really ride them anyway. But maybe so. like during the springtime, it's like mm, I'm gonna hop on my hoverboard. My personal opinion is that there should be a revolt. Yeah, you're gonna start like a big riot. I mean, granted, it'd be like me, Ryan, ten kids, and then like. 85% Asian kids. Would you guys be rolling around on your hoverboards around campus? Oh, yeah. They couldn't stop us. You can't physically. Well, they could, but what if, if we- there's like an army of 50 hoverboard men. Hoverboard re- men? <laughs> I think they would be forced to address the issue. Yeah. Uh, what would there's, you- just some, there's just a stigma on our heads, man. They don't actually. Well, I mean, what would you guys if you buy the cheap one, it catches on fire. What would you guys' chant be? Like, your riot chant. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's a tough one. I don't think I'm that. All right. Well, you have to think about it, and by the end of the show, you have to come up with your guys' hoverboard chain. You know, it's your senior year. Riot. <laughs> the hover Why riot. Not, yeah. True. Why not? Revolt. <laughs> the I think hover uprising. If, if people don't know, you, you can go on the Jake's uh, SoundCloud whenever you want and think... Wait, uh, Jake they, I think Jake, SoundCloud? Yeah, Jake. Yeah, oh, if, you, man. if you don't know about Jake's rapping, there's a, <laughs> there's a lyric that Jake has is, yes. whole squad on my back. Start a revolt. <laughs> I want to see this revolt. happen. Oh run, my in, run in the gosh. city like Usain Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> what? Or hover in the, hover in the city. <laughs> well, hold on. Yeah, now, hover in the city. What's the point of the whole SoundCloud, you know, thing here? Are you just are you trying to get discovered or what? No. It's quite the opposite, actually. Then why have it? I mean. Just a look back when I'm like 80 and play it at my. You'd be like sitting, you know? like sitting in your wheelchair like, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Man. Fire! I had bars. I, had I was playing back in the day. Uh, I had bars. You play, you play it for your great grandchildren, and you just be like, "Yeah, look at this." Me and Jeff did discuss yesterday making a Beaver Sports Show rap. Um, if all about it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we could be like Damien. Theme song. We could be like Damien and uh, Kevin Love. There, and all and all right. Right. we'll make like a music dropping video. Dimes, dropping dimes, dropping dimes. dimes. Yeah, I can see Jeff being the Kevin Love in that video. Oh, dude, no doubt. I'll mix it for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there it is. DJ Grant Ocampo. Yeah. DJ Prom King. Yeah. Also true. Uh, also, have, also have a SoundCloud, so. Yeah. If you're, if, you're, if you're wanting more SoundClouds, you can follow Jake and then probably find me from there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, well, I, I'm really, I'm hoping during the spring I see a hoverboard revolt at some point. If I get more than one person... To like do it with me, so three people? No, I don't even know if I, besides Ryan, I don't. I really don't know if I know anyone else personally. That All right, one. well, uh, I mean, yeah. we should put this on besides like a, the basketball. I could get Trace. Would Trace join? We should put that on a Twitter poll. We should start yeah. doing Twitter polls on <laughs> second string sports. Yeah, we should. Yeah, All right. you should. Intern Agreed. Mike, intern Mike, you have you have the uh, you have the Twitter. <laughs> put on the Twitter right now. Uh, would you join Jake McGrady in a hoverboard <laughs> revolt? Against or against, against at Oregon State University. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Let's see. Let's see what uh, see what our poll would be. Because you know, I, if someone got me a hoverboard, I would jump on the hoverboard. I revolt for with. I'd so you're saying me. if Ryan Chicken Down didn't want to do it, you'd hop on his and join the revolt? Oh, easily. And okay, but you know, by the end of the show, Jake will also come up with his his revolt saying, true, in their chant. All right, Jake's the leader of his hoverboard revolt. <laughs> I wonder what the repercussions would be. Could they like confiscate it? I don't know. No. Fine, but, like, what's what's the difference? What's between, the worst they, they could do? Con- they couldn't confiscate what's it. What's the difference between like you know? I some, can see them trying to like no, confiscate and be like you have to pick it go, up. And, like, no, I'm I'm a red blooded American. That's not happening. And I would just hover away. over their foot. 
<laughs> you just hover away and get off campus. You don't, you don't let them Jake's take your... savage with the hoverboards. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't let them take your hoverboard, Jake. Yeah, this is America. Just take the hoverboard and start beating them. Yeah. Well, like, what's the, what's the difference between what's the, the difference? kids who go super fast on a longboard? They can hurt themselves well, or yeah. others. Well, you know, well, if, if, you start, if you start a riot or there's just like a little chant going on around campus, what's the difference between some of the kids that go around and be like, we want free textbooks. We want free textbooks. Well, you, what's the difference we besides want we want our hoverboards? <laughs> like, just, First, you know, you're you're signs? Yeah, you're like holding signs while you're on your hoverboard. Yeah, outside the library. Mm, you can no, roll around like, old just yeah, campus. Yeah, that's what you do. You all get on your hoverboards and yeah. just hover around campus. No, you don't start you a should, riot. You should do it in a, in a line, so <laughs> you're in bad. sync with the speed. Yeah, and there you just, go. You know, you know, fill up the whole <laughs> street with hoverboards, just going in a straight <laughs> line, walk, so no one can pass. Watch, watch someone's like watch Jake up front, screw it all up, and they all crash. <laughs> oh, I probably fall. I've fallen so many times. Like uh, like uh, Markeith Morris the other day. Oh yeah, when he was rolling out after being. We'll talk about it when we talk about the trades, but yes, that that's just what I'm picturing. I would probably actually hit the ground though. He did, he he stood on his two feet. No, I'm just saying. I'm picturing just a like line a of straight line, uh, maybe a straight line like that also curves into like, a circle, like horizontally, like down the street. So you're filling the whole street up, like you could hold hands or something. Kind of on like your hoverboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of like a Red Rover type thing. Okay. I will say, I, I have Red gotten... Rover, uh, <laughs> now that now that I can't take it on campus, I just do it in the uh, parking lot of the apartment complex that I live in. And I think it was like three, four days ago when it was like a dry day, I went outside. I was just listening to music on my headphones or just hovering yeah. up and down the Oak Park uh, Street. And uh, the maintenance man, it wasn't Sergio. It was one of his assistants, kind of drove by on his car and slowed down and... Looked at me, gave me a weird look, double took, and kept driving. But kids these days, man, <laughs> it's just the hoverboard life. <laughs> you just got a target on your back. Yeah, they so, hate us because they hate us. You're gonna have haters. We all got haters. <laughs> <laughs> I want Jeff to join the hoverboard ride. No, there is no. <laughs> have you ever ridden one? <laughs> no, there is no chance you can ride of me mine. ever getting on a hoverboard. I will crash so hard. That's fine. I'm it for you. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. That's true. I got feet. They work well. So true. Is the pole up? Jake. What? When you walk at graduation in June. Yes. Would you ride your hoverboard on stage and receive your diploma? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be so that, nervous to do that, but. Well, no, you could actually do it because you don't actually go up on stage. You'll just kind of like filter up the middle and they'll yeah. give you your diploma. So you could totally do it. I don't know if they'll let you on Reeser with it, but, you know, it's worth a try. What if you just, you know, kind of snuck it up there somehow? Oh, I'd try to... Just, like, just like zip up your robe and just casually have it inside your... Just an update? Your, yeah. The Twitter poll is up. Three votes in, 100% yes, I would revolt. So if you want to if you want to join in, uh, you can... Look us up at Second String KBVR on Twitter. Yeah, we're, I think, uh, I think we're, we're about to have some more polls. Eventually, agreed. Yeah, we need second string sports. Feature. Yeah, good feature for the uh, online Twitter sphere. Some people abuse polls, but other than that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make it a a very entertaining. I want to make a Twitter poll for Jeff's next Instagram name. Once Ooh, he changes I'm it back out. from Corduroy Poppy, will it go back to the Glow Show, or will he go to uh, what we decided last year with Bad Boy Beef? <laughs> I mean, whatever the people vote for. I'll do it. Well, I'll I do mean, it for a week. Some savage people could vote, so it could be something real bad. That's fine. I'll do it for a week. As long as it's safe for work, I'll do it. Hmm. All right. Uh, maybe hoverboard poppy. All right. Hoverboard poppy. <laughs> Not like... <laughs> Doesn't even own a hoverboard. <laughs> yeah, I don't, own a, I don't own a hoverboard. I've never been on one, but I mean, if that's what the people want, then that's what the people will get. I feel like we could just go knock on the door of the international dorm and just recruit. Mm-hmm. Fun, fun story. Um, <laughs> I was driving home. I, I think I was going back to Tualatin for a weekend. And I was driving, since I live near the international dorm, I was driving past the international dorm, and they must have been moving something in. But there's two students, both on hoverboards, moving a dresser. Like, Wait, what? Like, Kyle Rinker was in front of me. He witnesses, too. He can attest. They were get Kyle on the phone. They were they were moving Kyle the dresser thing. Kyle, I know Kyle's listening. Tweet at us, but it was probably one of the funniest slash uh, 
laziest things I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. And they weren't American. So if you go to them, you're like, hey, want to join <laughs> wow, my revolt? Wow, Jake. Wow. I'm just saying that's something you, something you would associate with being American, using a hoverboard instead of walking to oh, move. Let's just stop. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just stop. Uh, but would you, so. <laughs> I like to, it's TV. We can take it political, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be like the next Rush or Bill O'Reilly? What? Yeah, I like to mix in the controversy. Talk, talk, talk about your uh, foreign policy, Jake. All right, so Jake, you you'd have them Who also join. Who dared in. to vote no? Oh, you're looking at him. That was you. Yeah, there it is. F O H. Yeah. So he's <laughs> <laughs> gone off the rails. Yeah. Flies on hats, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, that's what yeah. that means. Man, <laughs> I eventually... That, all right. Okay, all right. We'll pretend. <laughs> yeah. Man. So We've been talking if, about if hoverboards it, for a good five minutes. Man. Well, eventually I'm hoping the hoverboard Fun thing... Fact, the poll is up 71% yes, 29% no, with seven votes. I do not get how Twitter's analytics work, but I take it that's like two votes no, five votes yes. We'll, uh, before the show ends at 2 o'clock, we'll, uh, we'll let you guys know how the Twitter poll. I'll give it a little retweet, see if, uh, see if people I know in the California market mm-hmm. want it. Some Cali want people. Revolt, yeah, right. California people roll up to Oregon State well, University. Second string sports has got a budget now. We're on TV. We'll fly them down. We got a budget. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fly them down. I don't know if it, it necessarily entails that now we've got a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyone could have a budget. We're balling on a budget. True. True. Second, second string, you know, on a budget. Oh, Jake, it's 67.33 now. <sighs> We're just going to constantly update it every 30 seconds. You got nine votes. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, we'll I think we're going to take a little little PSA break. We'll take here. a PSA break. We're going to take a, a few PSA breaks. We're going to ring it back in. Go to that Twitter poll. We're going to try to fix the soundbite. Throw, throw, throw in your opinions. We're going to, you know, look at the soundbite board. But... Yeah, this has been a an interesting show so far. So, stay tuned. Coming up, we'd have uh, we pretty much covered everything that we have all started to talk about. So, and you don't want to break down the All Star game quarter by quarter. Come on, I mean, man. we can talk about the game, but the whole, the whole we game? can talk There's about Co- whole game. We'll summary. talk about Kobe a no little bit. No defense. Yeah. That's, yeah, no defense. There's a but, lot uh, of alley oops. Yep, that's that's your summary. That's all you need to know. One hundred ninety six points. <laughs> yeah, ninety two ninety at halftime. Coming up after the break, we'll get into some trade talk, a little bit of an anticlimactic uh, trade deadline from our standpoint of what we had, you know, been discussing. Maybe what we had, what we would have wanted to see, but pretty fun nonetheless. Always fun to talk about. So stay tuned. Second string sports, another hour. You're listening on KBVR eighty eight point seven FM. Why are you so distant? Did you have to shoot anyone? You gonna get a job now or what? No one knows what it's like to come back from Iraq or Afghanistan unless they were there. Join other veterans at communityofveterans.org. Brought to you by Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America and the Ad Council. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number four, go with the flow. In Oregon, a bike is a vehicle and you are the driver. Ride with traffic whenever you are on a roadway, including one-way streets. Obey traffic signs, lights, and markings as if you were a vehicle. Respect pedestrians. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles, too. Did you know that 7 in 10 pregnancies among single young women in the U.S. are self-described as unplanned? That's one of the highest rates in the developed world. These young women have about twice as many unplanned pregnancies as teens do. The consequences of unplanned pregnancy affect both young adults and their families. These include interrupted education, high risk of poverty, increased health risks for mother and child, and more. This campaign is aimed at reducing the rate of unplanned pregnancy among unmarried young women in the U.S., the national campaign to prevent teen and unplanned pregnancy. Sure. Humans can be a little weird at times, but take it from me, I'm a dog. And a person is about the best thing that can happen to a shelter pet. 
So if you want to learn how you can be that person, get down to your local pet shelter or visit the shelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, in math, I learned that I'm ugly and useless. And in gym, I learned that I'm pathetic and a joke. In history, I learned that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. And in math, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... Is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. Imagine me, a dog, moving in with a human. I didn't know how it would work. Turns out, my human's pretty entertaining. For instance, every time I give my human his ball, he throws it as far as he can. And I'm like, dude, that's your ball. So I go get it. But he just throws it. Again. I gotta say, though, the more he does it, the funnier it is. I love my human. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org. Are your kids on the computer all day? Pulling the power cord can get them onto the playground. Creative moms can keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas at letsmove.gov. Brought to you by the USDA, HHS, and the Ad Council. Make good nutrition and physical activity part of your family's daily lifestyle. Be our guest to healthy living and visit letsmove.gov to learn more. Brought to you by Let's Move, the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Ad Council. OSU is going smoke-free. On September 1, 2012, smoking will no longer be permitted anywhere on the Corvallis campus at any time. This is part of OSU's mission in support of healthy people and a healthy planet. For more information and to learn about resources to help you quit using tobacco, go to oregonstate.edu slash smokefree. Saving energy saves you money. Whether you switch to Energy Star light bulbs, install Energy Star appliances, or add extra insulation. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Energy and the Ad Council. Hi, this is John Bon Jovi asking you to go to serve.gov to get involved in something you believe in. I'm a big believer in the power of we. We, we can tackle the tough challenges we face and build community through service and volunteering. United we stand, united we serve. Are you with me? Go to serve.gov for more information about how to volunteer in your community. This message is brought to you by United We Serve and the Corporation for National and Community Service. Are your kids on the computer all day? Pulling the power cord can get them onto the playground. Creative moms can keep kids active and healthy. Get ideas at letsmove.gov. Brought to you by the USDA, HHS, and the Ad Council. Make good nutrition and physical activity part of your family's daily lifestyle. Be our guest to healthy living and visit letsmove.gov to learn more. Brought to you by Let's Move, the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Ad Council. Free money is available for you to do good, healthy things. The Healthy Campus Initiative invites you to join their team by doing something to support wellness at OSU. They need your ideas and energy on the team and can provide up to $1,000 to help support your project. You can pick up a form at Dixon Rec Center or download one from the OSU Be Well blog site and share your idea. The Healthy Campus Initiative is largely funded by a grant from the Pacific Source. The initiative supports physical activity, healthy eating, stress management, and tobacco education and cessation. For more information, contact Tina Clausen at T-I-N-A dot C-L-A-S-O-N at OregonState.edu. Hi, this is John Bon Jovi asking you to go to serve.gov to get involved in something you believe in. I'm a big believer in the power of we. We, we can tackle the tough challenges we face and build community through service and volunteering. United we stand, united we serve. Are you with me? Go to serve.gov for more information about how to volunteer in your community. This message is brought to you by United We Serve and the Corporation for National and Community Service. 
And we're back. Second string sports. Second half of the show coming up here. We got a lot more NBA to talk about. NBA trade deadline. Blazers get back into action tonight. Me and Grant will be talking about that, of course. Just a quick little update on the Twitter poll, though. Get a, <laughs> let's get these numbers in. Nice. 17 <laughs> votes, 71 to 29. Man. There it is. Give that a quick retweet. All right, there we go. Also just got word. Uh, we will not be having any other guests on today, unfortunately. Sad day. Sad day. Man, that's see, that's, that's another thing we can address. Just the commitment of the LA Insider. We didn't we didn't plan <laughs> on having insider. the LA Insider today, but you know, we, we we were questionable if Jordan was gonna be able to make it. He was on the you know, the IR list, the day to day. And it turns <laughs> out reserve day turns to out day. he could not make it. Uh, you know, he'll be on Next term, though, for sure, to talk a little spring football, but shot a quick text to Jeff with maybe, what, 30 minutes until showtime? Dude, 15. I was like wow. 11, it was like 11.45. I was sitting there watching uh, Rosillo and Canel on my couch. I just finished lunch. And see, the LA Insider's just and on. Text, and you texted me. I'm like, well, I don't have class today. Not really doing anything else. So, all right, I'll be there. Just, just to put <laughs> things out there in the uh, the radio sphere to, to be uh, discussed. Uh, and TV sphere. And, and, TV. TV, and TV contract now, uh, now that we're on TV, <laughs> but we're, we're ironing out the contract still, but uh, we are in in discussions to signing Jeff Lowe to a three-month deal. Yep. To, yeah. Uh, making him a featured second-string sports Man. Hey, we need to, uh, <laughs> intern, intern Mike, find a piece of paper. Oh, you want to uh, sign it here right now on TV? Yeah, we oh, are. Can, going, I get, like, we go. can we get like hats out in front or something? <laughs> like I got. If a, we're doing that, I'm filming this. Got a Laker hat, Trailblazer. Uh, hat. No, we're gonna we're gonna have a microphone. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, there, right. there we go. Let's do it. <laughs> and you're gonna hold up the microphone, and we're, we're, watching we're, we're gonna eat the contract here in the next uh, fifteen all, or so minutes. Yeah. All about it. Let's do Michael it. Michael, ink up the details over there, but and uh, intern Mike, paralegal Mike. He's just a Mike need to, might need to sign one as well. Multi-purpose. Yeah, multi-purpose. The Draymond Green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could. The too bad we don't have second string. string. If we had second string memorabilia, you'd be putting on a hat. Yeah, I know yeah. that'd be cool. Man, we, we need. We should get that. We should get some second so, string. Spring term, yeah, it's happening. We're getting t-shirts. Why not? Oh, I, I wear t-shirts. Oh. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. I, I sure. also wear t-shirts. I also so wear let's t-shirts. Do it. Well, no, Jeff wants to be <laughs> naked in it. Uh, yeah, Jeff's <laughs> a naked Jake, host. Jake wants on the con- to be naked. All right. On Just the contract, and Jeff's contract, it is inked that he has to show up nude to every taping. <laughs> no, just no towel. Remember towel, man. Like J- a day spa, <laughs> like a day spa. There, there you go. Yeah, but yeah, that uh, you know, he he's really proved himself in the trainings and uh, each episode he's come on. It's just, I mean, look at the numbers last week: six hundred and forty-two views on YouTube off of Jeff appearance. Numbers man. don't lie. Check the scoreboard. Stats don't lie. Numbers don't lie. He's, Tom been, Ford. he's been putting in that work. You know, <laughs> he brings in the Los Angeles demographic. He drops rap quotes. Yeah, he drops like, rap right quotes. In, right? Yeah, honored, honored to officially uh, join the second string sports team. Well, let's hold it yeah. up. You haven't, you haven't inked the contract. Yeah, you yet. haven't inked the contract. Well, sorry, slow yeah, roll, buddy. You know, okay, sorry, guys. Ended. We could back out. Okay, yeah, there's an injury clause. You know, if you miss a show, we may have to. I can't, you, I can't we may have to a cut you. Board type deal. You know, put that into the you, contract. You can't Ooh. jeopardize your face. You know, the looks. <laughs> right in the contract that Jeff also has to participate in Jake's hoverboard Ooh, ride. Man, that means I got to change my vote on Twitter. <laughs> Like you said, I haven't signed anything yet, though. I don't think you can change votes on Twitter. No, you can't. I don't think you it's possible. That's not, you know, I th- I th- Twitter should change that. Agreed. You should be able to change it. We they, should- first and foremost, they should implement a feature before that that lets you edit tweets, though. True. Because you ever had that moment when you put out an absolutely fire tweet, and oh. it gets like... Okay, but do you see the issue with man. that? What? Like, let's say that you were to tweet something, like, actually <laughs> valid, and then... It gets a lot of retweets, oh, I and then see you just saying. change it to something like I don't know. Let's good offends point. People like, or hey, I never thought or something about that. Like, that. like the Kanye mm-hmm. thing when he said if you if you tweet the name of the album, if you predict it, then yeah. But unless there was a feature where you can edit it, but it, you can click to like see the edits, you know, like see the original could, tweet. But still, that's still probably confusing nah, for a lot of people. I don't think Twitter would ever do that. Now that I think about it. Now I yeah. know why they don't do if it. If you but. take if you take a Dan Faltasex uh, capstone class, you'll yeah. find out that uh, Twitter is d- Twitter is a dumpster fire. Yep, as uh, Logan and I learned. Yeah, we. It, that's also who we need to have on before he'd do it too. He'd love it oh, before yeah. the year ends. Big NBA guy. We're gonna have spring Dan. term Dan. Yeah. You're coming on, man. He's just be spitting out numbers. Get Dan and Louie. and facts only. 
Yeah, analytics all day. Analytics Meta all day. Data. Man, I, 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 we're gonna have it. That's gonna be that's gonna Who be a great this? show. I, I've never. He's had a new. Him. He's a new media guy. New and media. He just, okay. Yeah, and he just knows literally everything. All right. Dance out man. numbers. Sure. I trust you. Data I just, analytics. I just, I just you've had, you've had Louis on, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, twice he, now. Yeah. You got to bring Louis back. Of course. First time I ever met Louis when I uh, came to Oregon State. So I was talking to him in, in, in his uh, first ever like advising meeting. I talked for like five minutes about school and like an hour about the Lakers and sports. It was the coolest thing ever. I was like, dang, college is this is college. This is sweet. <laughs> Were you in um, his sports media class? Like, yeah, the I term took, after me and Logan or the no, year I before me? It, and Logan? Uh, I took it my freshman year with um, so that, James and Jenna, actually. So that would have been when we were or when I was a senior in high school then. Yeah. 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 I remember Solid. that. That was a great class. And then he watched the development into media superstars. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and now look at you. You're about to sign a contract for second string sports. I know, live on TV, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say when I woke up today, I thought I'd be signing a contract <laughs> yeah, on live is, TV. This is like national <laughs> signing day. It, it really, really is. is. We're going to have one of these microphones coming over here and you're going to. It's not going to say anything, but we're going to hold it up for you. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, man, yeah, this, it's, this it's is all for show official. to look good. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a picture and we'll uh, we'll tweet it out to Second String Sports. Yeah, yeah that that's yeah. We need to Jeff holding up his contract. Oh, another thing we're, we're going to have to tweet oh, out. Um, what? Well, we'll we're going to. This is the Twitter poll. Uh, so intramural sports. You know, some of us are Grant, oh, myself, gosh. and <laughs> intern Mike, with also Jake. The Facebook intramural sports they uh, they posted the pictures on uh, Facebook through our bowl, like bowling intramurals. Yeah. and I saw someone post the picture of of Grant's team because Grant's mm-hmm. on another team. Mike, Jake, and our one team. Yeah, and so I'm like, oh, let's just go check out the picture that they posted of us. So I go to the picture and I'm like, oh, it has a comment and a like. Huh, I wonder who it is. It's this one girl asking, "Hey, Jeffrey, uh, <laughs> nice." Is this, or just like, just like, nice, Jeffrey, and like tags the guy, and the Jeffrey guy goes, with yeah, the, "That's not me. Um, that's not me." I saw. I was like, "Huh? Yeah." All right. So other guy, Evan, who's uh, sings sings a theme song, and I tag him. I tag Mike and Jake, and I go, "So which one of us is the Jeffrey lookalike?" Because I was trying to figure it out this it's morning. You. Is it me or it's like I feel like it's me or Mike. It's you. I, I, think, I think it's, it's you. I think so it's Logan. All right, it's so Logan. We're gonna post the picture to the Twitter here, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna toss it over poll. Who do you think it is? This girl mistakenly thought for Jeffrey. It, the problem I was having was picking out who Jeffrey was from his profile. There was like no yeah, like I found it, one yeah. picture. It's definitely Logan. So I, I couldn't I think, tell I who to compare My to. But I'm pretty Mike. sure it was Logan because so I saw a couple that looked like him. We're gonna have we'll we'll post that. <laughs> <Twitter>. Evan's comment <laughs> cracked no me idea up. What's going on? But uh, <clears throat> you'll, 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 I, I will vote in this Twitter poll. Mike, also find a uh, find a picture of uh, Jeffrey on Facebook. Also, not to be any any creep creeping too hard, but you got to creep hard for this. And maybe if we can find his Twitter, we will we'll add him in too. So <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be real weird. No, you can't. You can't have uh, awkward. Oh, just reply it. Reply it. Yeah, you can oh. just reply it under. Jake, yeah. whatever happened to uh, that girl on Twitter who was all about uh, second string or, be- or about the Beaver Sports Show? Oh yeah, what was her name? We just I ha- don't know. We know. We just have. She, we just have followers everywhere. She was in like Wisconsin. She or, was really creepily or, involved with me. <laughs> she, she tracked was down all that about coming to Oregon State because of us three. She tracked down the pic of uh, me, Jeff, and Logan from like September and just. Yeah. What'd she say? What'd she caption? She like, maybe I'll come to Oregon like, State now. Go, I, I, you sent me a little screen grab of it. <laughs> it's worth looking up, but yeah. man, it, it said like, maybe now I should come to Oregon State with like hard eyes and we look <laughs> and this is like a 35 year old woman. <laughs> Dang. No, I, don't know if I don't know if she was that old. Whoa. But, <laughs> She's from Wisconsin. She definitely looked old. She I'm wasn't sure from here. She's from like, Wisconsin, she, man. Just go to the, just go to the Badgers. We don't want you. She wants she wants us for us. Huh, interesting. Maybe she's a really big Gary Anderson fan. And she followed Gary Anderson to Oregon State. Man, she that, follows the show though, so maybe, hey, and we she should, follows uh, me on Twitter. Second well, Street Sports so. also uh let's find that let's find that uh tweet. We'll find that tweet eventually. We're gonna tweet at her. I got I got the tweet up right yeah. now, actually. You hey, let me see it. Let me okay, see it. Okay. How'd you find that? Uh details. It, you sent it in a group text to me. Oh yeah, good hey. uh, so it says she All says right. looks like I'm going to be a Beavers fan from now on. Football emoji, it. prime emoji. Okay. Uh by the way, her name is Pale Skin Mommy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. 
So let's let's figure this out. Let's let's we're, we're gonna dive to into this. the Twitter spiel. Hey, hand that off to Mike. Wait, uh, can I see that real quick? I'm gonna go retweet oh, that. Yeah, right. Mike on the on the Twitter sphere on, on Second String. Reach Sports. out to Pale Skin Mommy. Reach out to Pale Skin Mommy uh, <laughs> and ask her how did she go back and find this pick, and is she actually interested in being a beaver? Believer, yeah. Beaver believer. Um, Mike so, is just yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is the assignments right now. Mike, Mike is uh, is getting you know we're we're just taking the uh, you know we're on TV now. We just got to take it to another level. True. And it's and not it, a simulcast. Yeah, this is not a simulcast. What is pale that skin mommy's not exist name? anymore? All right. So hopefully we get some answers here uh, to who the lookalike is. Do you spell May? Jake's, we're on, we're on Jake's a social riots. media wild goose chase right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's riots and All talking to pale mommy. Pale skin mommy. Yeah. So we'll, we'll hope. What's, What's your job? Yeah. For <laughs> uh, ask, <laughs> Mike's asking what's his job but, uh, for pale skin mommy uh, ask pale skin mommy if, <laughs> how, how she uh, how she came across Jake's well she, he's gonna have to tweet the yeah tweet the picture of it so it's maybe send it to Mike yeah I found her she's from Minnesota so ask Minnesota. her how she came how she came across oh. the how she came across that image on Twitter that Jake tweeted out in September <laughs> Be like, hey, how did you figure this out? And are you actually interested in being a beaver believer? I'm pretty sure she just fall. It's because she follows me. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, she already tweeted your tweet. All right. Recently? Yeah. Look. Oh, man. Oh, man, she did. All right. Well, maybe we might know now because she's actually really likes Jake. All right. Moving on. <laughs> let's, let's get back into some sports. <laughs> man, pale skin, pale skin love. <laughs> I don't yeah. even know how to respond to that. Man, it, if if people are now watching on television, they're like, who are these kids? I'm fine with that. Radio, because maybe now there's like, oh, okay, this, this this sometimes happens. It's reasonable. But now, you know, people coming across the TV sphere, it's just like, wow, this thing's getting weird. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what sometimes it happens. That's what so, happens when you bring up. How did that, how'd that even get brought up? I don't was, know. It was just, well, some, you know, you guys are talking about the whole... You should send me that bully, pic, Jeff. You're send, talking about the whole bowling thing. Yeah, Jeff, text, about the bowling text me thing. that pic. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of it. Don't worry. All right. We should Dude. just tweet that pic and do hashtag who is pale skin mommy. Hashtag who is pale skin mommy. <laughs> uh, she, that isn't her name on Twitter anymore, though, so... Oh, what? She real. changed it up? Yeah. Huh. Man, what Interesting. is it? Her name's like Lexi right. or something like that. Oh. So... We talked about this earlier in the show. We'll, 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 we're gonna come. We're gonna come back to NBA. All that right. was in January. She tweeted that. All right, Even all right, creepier. All right. all right, we're gonna we're gonna roll on here, Jake. So she found the pic that I tweeted in January, and Jake's just totally stuck on the Twitter. Yeah. Here. Let 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 uh. Hey, let, let Mike intern Mike take yeah, care Mike's of this. You're on air. Um. All right, we're going. She's gonna be so creeped out. It's so weird. All right. So an eye for an eye. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Well, so we're gonna uh, yeah, let's reel it back in. <laughs> Enough right. of that. Do we want to do our Pac-12 rankings? Oh if you yeah, had, I'm all, all right. about this. All right, mm-hmm. Jeff's excited here. Oh we're, yeah. Uh, how do okay? So how do we want, how do we want to kick off the rankings here? Here we go. Seventy well, okay, percent to thirty percent. We should have some like poll. categories here for like why you rank them. So I mean, academics, perceived party life, and athletics. Yeah, or social life, not party life, social life. Okay. Same fair or mm-hmm. and location. Okay, we want to do this as a bracket style, or do you want to just rank them? I, I was saying we just rank it one through 12, 12, 12 to one. All right, it's gonna take some. It's gonna take, take some, some debate, but we embrace debate. Okay, so we're gonna kick off with your number one first, Oregon State. There it is. I, I, it's it's well, Oregon I mean, like, State. I'm Oregon, gonna. Yeah, it, it, Oregon State. Obviously, because we all go here. But if I'm going, you know, not, you know, homerism aside, uh, I would vote for Stanford or USC. Stanford? At number one. Really? Yeah. Okay, Stanford, you get a world-class education. You are in Palo Alto, California, a beautiful place to go to school. You're on a gorgeous campus. You have a top five football team. You're good at basically every other sport other than men's basketball. You have connections. All right. You come out of there, yeah. you will get a job Anywhere, True. anywhere you want to work. That's that's my vote for Stanford. Same for SC. 
you are in Southern California. You have top flight athletics. You have a great social life and it's a awesome campus. Not in the nicest area, but it's a beautiful campus. If you've ever been there, I highly recommend it. All right. So Jeff has Stanford. I'd go Stanford one. All right. Hmm. All right. Number two. Uh, that was, that was, that was, a real, that was, that was a good point. It, it made me, throw it made the, me, throw yeah. the bias it made me respect. I, yeah. yeah, throw biases aside. Throw bias bias aside, because obviously we got to. I, I can honestly world. agree there. Yeah, because I mm-hmm. I was thinking, you know, you can't not pick Oregon State first. But if we're right. throwing biases yeah. aside, I think Stanford is probably. Yeah. It. I mean, even the education alone, yeah. just See, throws it near the top. I have that as well. The, um, but at, well, also with athletics, I kind of have the feel with the Cal Golden Bears. Um, yeah, exactly. Cal's the number one public school in the country. Yeah, um, my sister's uh, boyfriend, you know, Sheik. He, he's the real homie. Shout out to Sheik. Uh, <laughs> that's the first time we could say we shouted out Sheik on radio. Yeah. Is he a golden bear? Yeah, he's, he's a pitcher. He's, he's a pitcher for the oh, baseball squad. I got a buddy. I got actually, I got a couple buddies who play football at Cal. All right, so my, my, number, my, my, my number two, then. if I, you know, if I had to choose, I, I'm going with the Cal Golden Bears. Okay. Yeah, I, I hard hard to argue with that. With okay. that there, I mean, athletics are a little lacking behind. You know, so SC, are, you, UCLA, are, you put, but, are you putting OSU? Are you are you going to keep dropping them here, Jeff? Well, I mean, we're taking the bias out of this. We already said yeah. we're you know, bias. with our bias involved. Oregon State's number one. Uh mine involves. I have both. a hard time putting Oregon State over SC or UCLA. Okay. I don't like UCLA, but gore, and again, it's a gorgeous campus. It's a great academic institution. Mm-hmm. Football. You know, athletics are okay. Their football team doesn't win any. They don't win a game if it matters. Yeah. You know, but well, and also speaking of athletics last, was it last night? The U- Utah Utes and we're going to try to like integrate sports integrate as well sports into, into this. this. Uh, the Utes and uh, UCLA had a great game last night. Yeah. Uh, and it, I, uh, Taylor for uh, who may, who had the terrible foul against uh, Stephen Thompson. Yeah. Uh, was uh, he made the game winning shot that against big yeah big three against UCLA last night, and now for UCLA things are kicking off. Was like fire Alfred, oh, get him out of here. Like, no, I mean if you listen to I mean I listen to LA sports talk radio you know every now and then, and people really want Alfred gone. The yeah. kicker is Alfred has a clause in his contract that if he gets he can't <laughs> if he gets fired before I think April tenth. Yeah. And UCLA has to pay him ten million dollars. Dang. Or if Alford decides to leave before then, he has to pay UCLA ten million dollars. So there's this <sighs> weird clause in his it's contract. Weird. Yeah, there's this really weird clause that kind of prevents UCLA from making a move because if they have to wait till April 10, tournament's almost over. Yeah. You can't really at, at that point you're kind of behind the eight ball on recruiting and finding a new coach. Yeah. So they're in a they're in a difficult spot, but I think a lot of people want Alford gone in yeah. LA. All right, so at number two, I have Cal. What's your guys' number two Pac-12 schools? <sighs> I'm going to go... You said Cal? Uh, I'm going to go UCLA. UCLA? UCLA for Graham. And yeah. just let everybody know that I am marking these down. Okay, good. We can just okay. average this out at the end. Yeah. So. All right. So I'm, I'm going SC. I'm gonna, You're going USC, I'm going Jeff? USC, too. All right. Can I make my third pick already? Uh, nope, not yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go switch things up and go number two ASU. Oh, Jake, you wow. are all about the social life at ASU. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I'm, I just got to like almost not not from the education standpoint, but from what <laughs> you were saying, just like yeah. the it city you live in, the yeah. warm weather, you know, you're close to Phoenix. We should, uh, you know, good looking. We should, one, of my, one of my good friends, uh, you know, Jake's, you know, also Twitter best friend uh, goes to ASU. Maybe we have to, we'll have to I'll reach out to King Louie. Yeah, you should tweet it. We should tweet at Louis and uh, ask him uh, what's the best part of ASU right now. Um, maybe if we get a response back, we'll and he goes to Arizona State, and we'll uh, that will justify uh, Jake's number two pick for Arizona State. All right, number three, Grant, you're a pre- you're a prep, you're ready. Uh, I'm gonna go Cal. Cal. All right. Yes. Any uh, particular reason there, Grant? Uh, just beautiful campus, good sports teams. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's it seems like a really, really nice place from all the pictures yeah. and everything I've yeah. seen. I've never been there. I so feel like once we get know, in the middle, it's gonna be like, oh, okay, I'll put them in the middle. But then <laughs> yeah. towards the end is when it, you know, it's almost it's like gonna it's, get, it's this is like reverse logic. We're gonna going have on, some right? hurt feelings towards the end. Yeah. All right. So, Jeff, who do you got? I'm uh, going UCLA. UCLA. Yeah, UCLA at three. Jake, I'm going Cal at three. 
All right. So Cal, Cal's making some uh, good appearances here. Yeah. So Jake's going with Cal. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Jeff's number one pick. I'm going to go with Stanford. Uh, Jeff really convinced me there. Just like, you know, you got football squad that's always They're good. Know, the top of the Pac-12. Yeah. And combine that with academics. Combine that with the academics, beautiful campus, great location. Yep. Giant trees. Yeah. It's called the farm for a reason. Yeah. So I'm going to Stanford. I don't know if giant trees is a selling point for me. And we got giant <laughs> trees here. If, you, yeah, if you're giant. into giant trees. I just, remember, I just remember a couple years they're back. They're soaking, when I, when but they're I giant. I just remember going back. Uh, I drove by their campus a few years back, and I just remember seeing just giant yep. trees. But okay. Number four. Who do you guys got? Number four. I'm going SC. SC at four. Kind of just same reasons for Cal. Yeah. Pretty similar. Mm-hmm. Jeff. Uh, Cal at four. Cal at four. Yeah. Pretty much, I mean, all the same reasons we've we've mentioned before. Yep. Yeah, we we can just start we can just start rolling yeah, we here. Don't have to really start I go selling. Stanford four. So Jake, I haven't Stanford. said Stanford yet. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go at UCLA. If, you, if you've ever been to Westwood, you will you, you you walk around and go, man. How do I not go to college here? It's a pretty cool place, I have to say. Mm-hmm. I went there. Two years ago. Yeah, it's nice. Mm-hmm. All right, number five. Can't say the same thing about USC. <laughs> on campus is nice. Outside, yeah, on campus is nice. Outside is a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Step into a new world of bullet yeah, and number five. and fodies. Uh, I think I'll go Arizona State. All right. I think that... The I, I social, shot the logic into you. The, the social aspect plus the weather. Think about it. Plus pretty good, pretty good sports teams. Pool party also. any weekend... Anywhere, <laughs> you know, you make a strong argument there. I, I think I'm going to shock some people with five. I'm going Colorado. <gasps> That's right. a, I mean, I've never been to Colorado, but you see the pictures and the football yeah. field yep. and everything. Man, that looks like a really cool place. Pictures to go. can be deceiving. If there's sports teams, if, if there's sports like, teams, if football better. was better, they'd be near. Oh, very yeah. near the top. Colorado for me. looks like an awesome place to go to school. Agreed. All right, uh, Jake, who do you got? Um, I don't. I don't think I've said UCLA yet, have I? You have not said UCLA. I'll go UCLA. Yet. All right. Uh, with my pick, you, know, you guys are going with Arizona State. I would almost feel a little, you know, too cra- like almost too crazed by Arizona State, but I will go maybe across the desert. Ooh, to Tucson. I'm going to go to Tucson. Mm, the, the dirty tea. You yeah. would be I'm a Tucson. That's kind of where I was. I like, you know, the basketball team. Yeah. There it is. Like, I, I, would, I would love a great football team, but. I would kill for an excellent basketball, like just like an yeah. unreal yeah. basketball team who's just always constantly. Their the arena is pretty I amazing. So. And I you know, I was like at an NBA and, stadium. And, you know, and I was at uh, Vegas last year and they watched show up. and watching the, watching the Pac-12 tournament, and that Vegas crowd, it was it was it was like the home, it was the home of the Wildcats. Yeah, they 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 show up. They all show. Up. I mean, even here yeah. at games at Gill, there's yeah. tons of Arizona fans here. Yeah, for basketball Arizona games. travels so well. Yeah. And so yeah, that that's that's partially my reason just because of just the crowd impact from Arizona. Definitely. So yeah. I'm gonna go Arizona. All right, we're at six. We're half we're halfway, halfway through. Halfway through, man. Wow. Yeah. Halfway. Number All six. Right. Uh I'm gonna go Arizona. Okay. Pretty much it's a lot like Arizona State. Um mm-hmm. weather wise. You made a really good point about basketball. Kind of forgot about that aspect. I think mm-hmm. that would be really cool to have I'm a team like that. Yeah, yeah so I'm also going Arizona six. Okay, started to trend there. I did. Yeah, you, you, you def, definitely coming up sold at seven. Arizona. This is where things start to get weird. Uh, Hard at, to but pick. At my six, uh, Jeff kind of touched on it. I'm going to go Colorado. Yeah. I I think just it'd be it's almost like a good spot where it, I think I if I had to go live somewhere besides like Northwest, if I had to go mid, yeah, I'm going Colorado because definitely. I just think Colorado just... I've never been to Colorado. Colorado seems like a pretty cool vibe. It seems like know? a good state. I watched that 30 for 30. Yeah. Oh, the, the Colorado gospel, looked... Gospel of Mac? Yes. Yeah. That looked really cool. Yeah. All right. We're rolling in at number seven. Mike's at Mike, you okay? He's probably got a response over there. He's got a response? <laughs> well, hey, well, hey, we're going to hold, we're gonna hold, hold the response Mike, until after this break. Okay. We're gonna, after we finish this, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break it. So Mike, you have you can't tell us. We can't get distracted. Well, okay. Well, okay. All right. We gotta power through this. We gotta power through this. Mike, and number Mike's seven. On. Number uh, seven. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Colorado. I think just because of the the location and 
pictures. Mm-hmm. I haven't said USC yet, so I'll go USC. All right, Man. USC. For I'll do go a little early. Colorado is my next one. All right, just to say, I'm going okay. Utah. Save some time. You're going Utah. Utah, kind of the same reason as uh, false. Uh, same reason as Colorado, but I think Utah's actually got a way better football team. Okay. I love the Utah football culture. I think it's awesome. But I mean, you're at, you're going to Utah, so just keep in mind what going to school there entails. But it's not BYU. It's different. It's it's very yeah. similar. It's way different than BYU. Mm. Mm. That's mm. a whole other discussion. It's like eighty percent population um, still. They got a good football team. <laughs> I'm actually going right there with you, Jeff. I'm going to go with Utah. Yeah. So you got to be with Jazz fans though. I got, yeah, my, I got my, I got my mountain bad. schools done. I got my mountain schools yeah, out mountain of the way. Yeah, mountain schools are out of the way. I got them done. All right, number eight. Go Beavs at eight. I'm going to go Oregon State. Wait, you had Oregon State at Oregon one? Oregon State well, was all of our not. ones. Okay, we're, I thought we weren't counting that and yeah. taking our bias out. No, that was your first, that was your first all right. decision. Uh, okay. All right, never mind. Thought we were redoing it. So, okay, I won't go. I'll, I'll go Utah then. Savage. Grant has us down at eight. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said that wait, first. Wait, I was, I was just taking out, taking out all bias yeah. and just actually basing it off. Sports teams and like location, I think that California schools would be really cool. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't deny that. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I had us lower. But okay. I, 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 get, I get where you're going. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No. But we, we kept it at one. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to argue for purpose at of one not at any point. Right. I'm just yeah. Okay. Okay. Utah is my next one. Utah is your next one. Yes. Final answer. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go ASU. ASU? Yeah, I got okay. them a little lower. I know uh, a good number of people from my high school went to the Arizona schools. And as as much, it, it looks like it's a little too much fun. Let me put it that way. All right. I think Jake had Colorado. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, if, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna head up north. I'm going to go to Pullman. <sighs> yes. I'm going to go to Washington State here. I love uh, it. it. It has, you know, Pullman... From, I've never been to Pullman, but what trash. I've heard, no. it's absolute trash. Do not listen, Jake. You absolutely have to from make a, a Pullman trip. No, you don't. From what yeah, I've heard, have you been to Pullman, Jake? Yeah, I have. It's, There's literally like I no reason to ever Pullman go for back football to Pullman. Season is awesome. Yeah, I feel like it I almost like it. they got from nothing to do. Descriptions, well, <laughs> descriptions. What I've heard, it's almost like they're out of the way. Be like, granted, like Oregon State. You know, we're in like a prime location it's a from like going to other places. Of Oregon State. It's worse than Corvallis. Yeah, it's. Pullman is a town of thirty thousand people. But I, I, I and it's awesome. But that's like you False. know it brings a, it brings a close community. Yeah, though. it's a close knit community. Yeah. Granted, the Cougars are not the best in sports, and I like that. I like they embrace that they're not very good. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun going mm-hmm. to the games. So I have yeah, to say. my dad, my dad and, and uncle both went to Washington State, so, so I got a little Cougar. I thought your dad both. went to USC. He did. He went to. So I mean, if you really want to break down the man, Andrew, you got the, touches the of Pac twelve all in you. So my dad went to Washington for undergrad. Uh, Washington State for his masters and then or for his uh Jeez. for his post grad and USC for his masters. All right. Got the hey, masters. Jeff's got we're, ties hey, to all the teams. Hey, we're, That's cool. we're rolling in down here. We're getting towards the bottom. We're about to roast some schools. All right. This isn't a roast <laughs> for me until so, we get real low. I'm yeah. good. What am number, I on right now? We're at number nine. We're getting close we're getting close to the bottom. Number nine I go U dub because I think living in Seattle would be amazing. Okay. Just imagine I, going to downtown Seattle I like on your yeah. cool. On night times, you know? I was also going to go UW. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, I think they're a really good school. I think it's hard to get it's in. It's a really good school. Uh, I, Sometimes I good. The Seattle thing would be cool. Uh, yeah. Have, pretty have, decent have teams. you put me down for Washington State yet? Uh, I have not. And then put me down for Washington State. Go Cougs. Yeah. I'm all about all about the Cougs. Okay. All right. Um, Very surprised you'd put that over UW. Are you really? After how we started the show? No, off? I'm just talking about C- just Seattle and in general. I, oh, I, I, I love the city. I am also I'm also going UW. Okay. What do I have left? So we're at ten. You have so three schools last, left. These are our last. Well, last two. If we've already considered the beeves. My tenth one. would be Utah. I don't think I've done Utah yet. Jake, you have not done. Yeah, Utah. Yeah, my tenth is Utah. Then tenth is Utah for Jake. Grant. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who else I left out. I have OSU, o. UCLA, Cal, USC, AZ State, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Washington. Choices. And then um, I got choices. I'll go. I'll just go Washington State. All right. There it is. I, I've never been to Pullman, so it's kind of hard for me to. I highly recommend to know, like, go where watch you're coming Beaver, from. Go but, watch the Beavers play in Pullman. Okay. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, sounds cool. It's a drive, but it's a lot of fun. Yep. Okay. Next, 
Jeff. So we're on 10. We're on 10. So, okay. So let me get this straight. We have the Beavers are, they're not in this. You don't have, we don't have Oregon State. Well, I thought, I thought we all said we had Oregon State number one. You want to put Oregon State at your number one? That, that, that's what I thought we all did. Okay. And then like everybody else yeah. is kind of behind that. That's what I was under the impression. Okay. Of. Well, I'll so, put, we have, you, so we have, I should have two schools left, right? Well, do you want OSU as number one? Yeah. Okay. OSU is now number one for Jeff. Okay. All right, yeah. So now, so I got Oregon and wait, Washington. Hold on. I need to pick. I need to pick my school for number ten. Then, yeah. Uh, my tenth school, I think I'm going to go with the USC. Dang, that's low. Okay, Jeff, rolling in. So I got, man, I got, uh, I got Oregon and Washington left. Yep. These are easily two of my least favorite schools in the Pac-12. Uh, the lesser of two evils. I, I have I have this debate quite often. Lesser of two evils, it is Washington. Okay. I do not like you, Dub. My sister goes there. <clears throat> My dad went there. I have a lot of family in Seattle. I love the city. I love the Seahawks, but man, I do not like you, Dub. There it is. <laughs> do not like them. Grant, have I picked Utah yet? Yeah, you I, just did. Yeah, you okay, picked well, Utah. Who, uh, who am I missing then? I swear that I've picked all eleven except Oregon. <laughs> I think like, you're missing a California. Wait, are you missing a California school? I don't think so. Like I'm looking at them right now. I don't. I yeah, think I've picked all of them but Oregon. <laughs> have you said Cal? I did say Cal. What about Arizona? See, this is weird. I'm trying to figure it out. No, he said Arizona. I, I said Arizona. Colorado. I said Colorado. Yeah, you Colorado. This, this, I think it's Logan weird, probably wrote something twice. I don't. Did Logan? Did Logan screw this up? That's why I was thrown off last time. I have ten for you. Then who is it on there? Do you, have, do you have OSU? <laughs> All right, we got to figure this out. Yeah, well, yeah. Do you, do you, have, you might not have OSU. He has OSU, UCLA, Cal, USC, Arizona State, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Washington, Washington State. That's 10. So you're oh. missing, did I miss Stanford for you? Yeah, yeah that's who it was because I, I did pick Man, Stanford. Man, I messed that up, didn't I? So I had Stanford at two then, be right behind Oregon State. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's that. that. And then U of O would be my last one. So wait, oh okay, okay, hold up. We're gonna put you on the side burner. We're okay. gonna have your you vote right. because you vote is about to get put on blast. All we right. all know. Sure. That. Yeah. Uh, True. Jeff, who's your wait, you just did your number eleven. I did number Jake, 11. who's your number eleven? Wazoo. Okay. I'm gonna put mine's at Arizona State. All right. Well, I think it's we all know where it came it's, to. it's unanimous. <laughs> it's all come to this. <laughs> the dark side. Uh, Oregon, Oregon, yeah, there it and is. Oregon, pretty it's easy. just it's the demeanor, it's pretty easy bet. It's the fan base. I don't even like. I don't like the city. I've no. been there multiple times. Yeah, I don't. I like will it. admit don't the one time back. that me, Mike, um, I don't know who else was with us. I think it was Andrew, one other person. I think Grant, not you, other Grant. All right, Rob, we what visited Eugene and uh, we witnessed a. Homeless woman in a cloak with a walking <laughs> stick and a cat on her shoulder. That sounds a lot like it Sounds Eugene. like Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my... They have a hobo camp that congregates in the middle of downtown Eugene, and they're all in circles. They have cloaks, capes. I don't think that's a hobo camp. I think that's just a hippie drum circle. <laughs> I know, I know. It's definitely hard to to uh, tell the difference between them. I can see how you you know you might get confused. Being from Corvallis, you know, you don't see that every day. So yeah, it's so, a dark place. You know, th this was all. It was all for uh, fun and games, but particularly I did this for uh, Civil War week coming up yep. because we all kind of knew ev eventually he was going to be a number. It's a real <laughs> long winded bit just to bring him back yeah, to Civil yeah. War. I'll just <laughs> say we don't like Oregon. <laughs> yeah. It's a very creative way to diss them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have a uh, we all have Oregon at uh, number twelve. You and know what? go beefs and go beefs. Go beefs. <laughs> there it is. Um, it. All right. Coming up after this break, we are going to have re we're going to update some of these polls. We're going to hopefully had some response back. And uh, yep, you are listening to eighty eight point seven KBVR Corvallis, or you are also turn tuning in at KBVR Channel Twenty Six. Stay tuned. Hi, this is John Bon Jovi asking you to go to serve.gov to get involved in something you believe in. 
I'm a big believer in the power of we. We weren't born. We can tackle the tough challenges we face and build community through service and volunteering. United we stand, united we serve. Are you with me? Go to serve.gov for more information about how to volunteer in your community. This message is brought to you by United We Serve and the Corporation for National and Community Service. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number three, using sharrows. Sharrows are located on slow-moving roadways where cars and bicyclists can safely share the road. Use signals and safely assert your position in the center of the travel lane. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles, too. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number two, don't ride on the sidewalk. Although riding on the sidewalk may seem like a safe option, motorists simply aren't looking for cyclists on the sidewalk. At every intersection, there is a risk of not being seen by a driver, especially if you're riding against traffic. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles too. up on sex. Don't give up on birth control either. There are more methods than you think. Visit Bedsider.org to compare all the choices. Brought to you by Bedsider and the Ad Council. Bedsider.org. Sure, humans can be a little weird at times, but take it from me, I'm a dog. And a person is about the best thing that can happen to a shelter pet. So if you want to learn how you can be that person, get down to your local pet shelter or visit the shelterpetproject.org. <laughs> Brought to you by the Ad Council. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number three, using sharrows. Sharrows are located on slow moving roadways where cars and bicyclists can safely share the road. Use signals and safely assert your position in the center of the travel lane. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles too. And we're back, Second String Sports Live in the booth. We just got a few updates here. Um, just another quick shout-out before, uh, if you want to follow all of our social medias, you can follow at Second String KBVR for our Twitter for the polls during the show, or you can follow our personal Twitters at jmcgrady 7 At LT McGinnis. <laughs> and at Gran Ocampo. And uh, at Glo Show 6 or, or if you're on Instagram, at Corduroy Poppy. That's you may right. have to look up how to spell that because me, and, me <laughs> yeah. and Jeff had to look That's it up yesterday. That's a tricky word to spell. <laughs> Anyways, Corduroy Poppy, though. We are up to a very strong, would you join me in a hoverboard revolt against Oregon State and its campus-wide ban? 22 votes. 64% yes, 36% no. Hmm, wow. That, uh... That kind of that shot up on the nose, though. That's definitely more than one person, Jake. So yeah, it looks like, it looks like Jake, you're going to need to you're revolt. You're revolting. You said of more than one person, then you know we have at least twelve. And so we got at the minimum. with only seven yeah. seven votes, but we got Logan coming in with a sharp seventy one percent. You are Jeffrey. It's hmm. you. It's you. You're deaf. It's you're deaf, Jeff. For you. All right. Well, I guess uh, Jeffrey will never know. We put that. We put that on a Twitter poll, or oh, that's a Twitter yeah, poll. Yeah. I just saw it. I'm gonna have to. I'll Were you able to it. find them on uh, Twitter? Oh no, Maybe no, we'll f- that's a little too strange. They can- <laughs> That'd be so funny though. <laughs> just comes out of nowhere. It just comes out of nowhere. Str- yeah, yeah. What is this second like, string sports well, yeah. account tweeting at me? <laughs> but here's the thing. Oh, dude, I found them. You did? You did? Yeah. That's a very simple uh, tweet at it or respond to respond and tweet at him. I'm pretty sure it's him at least. All right. It, it says it says Jeff. You know Jeffrey Dyer Corvallis. His oh, name's not I'm Dyer. Sure that's it then. Yeah, that is it is. It oh, is. It's Dyer. Dyer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we should probably have the second string sports account. Uh, that's definitely yeah, it. that's second string sports. Second string uh, intern Mook. You got that. 
tweet at Jeffrey. At Jeff Dyer. <laughs> D-Y-E-R-R. All right. All right. Boot currently has his plate pretty full. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably... Wait. Just to add more on the plate. Uh, oh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> we don't have a sound bite, but it's the Mook Minute. All right, Mook, are you ready? Because you already have so much stuff on your plate right now. It's a Thanksgiving dinner for you today on Second String Sports. You are now put on the Mook Minute. Are you ready to go on the Mook Minute, Mike? Yeah, but like you said, my plate is fuller than if I dump my crock pot onto a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the crock pots. All right, Mike. Shout out, Mook, for the crock pot. Three, two, one, go. I just want to say RIP to my day one. Harper Lee Aww. wrote one of the best books in American history. You know, that was one of the first English books that I really liked. She died earlier today, if you guys didn't know. This but uh, some interesting news came out. It's going to the baseball realm. I know Logan, Logan's happy about that. But uh, MLB agent Bart Hernandez was arrested today for human trafficking. <laughs> He smuggled Seattle Mariners outfielder Leonis Messi, or not Martin. Messi, Martin. Yeah. I didn't even say Messi. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. If there's Recently any. acquired yeah. Seattle Mariners. So uh, I guess the moral of this Mike's Minute is uh, children, if you don't want to go to jail, don't smuggle Cuban outfielders into the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was this? Uh, like two hours ago. Huh. This is when he got arrested. I don't know. When did he smuggle Leonis Martin in? 2010. Okay. And, oh, wow. ooh, Mike, he went over one second on the Mook Minute, so you got penalty. Um, <laughs> all right. That's the Mook Minute for the Second Street Sports right there. Congrats to Mike. Very uh, heavy, that, dark topics today. Yeah, yeah that was... A uh, death and human R. trafficking. R. Really, yeah, I'm glad Mike brought that up. Yeah. To Kill a, yeah. Mark, to, to kill a Mockingbird's awesome. Mm. Yeah. Man, I, I love I, Atticus. I didn't see it coming. Yeah, but, Atticus man, Finch. That Atticus was Finch, Finch, well the original OG. That was probably one of the, the best Mook Minutes I think I've seen yet. So True. well prepared. Well prepared. Yeah, well done. Very well prepared. Congrats, Mike. Um, where were we at? We were talking about uh, tweeting at Jeffrey. Yeah, tweeting <laughs> at Jeffrey. Uh, Jake or uh, Mike is also writing the contract for Jeff, not Jeffrey. Uh, with a G. Yeah, with a G. Jeff yeah. with a G. So that's also coming up. So all right, stay tuned for that. Let's. Uh, we got a solid half hour left. Let's uh, kick it off with some NBA trade discussion. Yep. The trade deadline ended at 12 Pacific, 12 noon yesterday. So uh, what do you guys think of the moves? Probably the most exciting move of the day was the the Jeff Green, Lance Stevenson move, which, man. Hey, the, now is Memphis, Memphis, drunk? Memphis is uh, <laughs> they're, they're creating a circus. Did Doc Rivers I think slip Memphis some is, sedatives I, into I, their Gatorade? I think Memphis is honestly going to start tanking here. Yeah. Because they, they were, they they're were, start they were shopping Mike Conley. I mean, I know Marcus, I, a deal didn't get done. Gasol's hurt. Yeah. Randolph isn't what he's been the past couple of years. You t- you take in a guy like Yeah, the tank is Stevenson. coming, I think so. I kind of, I, I mean, I don't understand it, but at the same time, getting... Uh, Getting a future draft pick, a, a future first round draft pick of the Clippers, I think it's a 2019 pick. Yeah, there's no, there's no guarantee the Clippers are going to be any good three years from now. Yeah, Chris Paul will be three years older. Blake Griffin may not even be there. There's a rumor already out there that um, if the Clippers don't make it to the at least the conference finals, they're going to blow that team up and get mm-hmm. rid of Blake Griffin. So Stevenson's a, a head a head case, but getting that pick is nice. Yeah. Uh, Quick little side breaking news. Mike just looked him up. Second string is already following Jeffrey on Twitter. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Small world. He doesn't follow back. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe this tweet will get him back. Unfollow them and then refollow him. <laughs> Do that. Yeah. Get his attention. Um, we'll, we'll try to decipher who is actually Jeffrey. Um, but yeah, I think Mem- I think Memphis is just going to start. They're blowing things up. Yeah, we talked up. about this last week. I think they're headed for a rebuild. They're heading soon. for a rebuild. <laughs> yeah, and definitely. It all signs point to it. I feel bad for my boy from AK Mario Chalmers. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, now Memphis is just turned into a, it's a circus show now. And yeah, they're done. So it's they're, what are they right now in the West? I think they're they're six. sitting at six. They're yeah. gonna slip. Yeah, they're, they're about to fall. And as Blazers be, taking advantage they might be of that, five actually. I think they're five. And Dallas that, is six, which is very Portland odd. Seven, Utah, which eight. is it's very odd for yeah. them to make that. Like, it doesn't make sense at all. 
Yeah, I mean, the, the front office, they don't, him and the front office, the owner and the coach don't really get along. They were talking about possibly firing the coach last year. So, yeah. It probably looks like Dave Yeager will probably be gone. Um, and they're going to blow that up, you know, which yeah. is kind of sad. Memphis is a fun team to watch. We do uh, have some uh, breaking news here with the contract has been completed. I'm going to read it live on air. Jeff, are you ready to uh, have your agent listen to this? Well, considering I am representing myself, so I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> As of February 19th, 2016, Jeffrey Lowe has officially joined the cast of Second String Sports. This edition will hereby form the big four of Jake McGrady, <laughs> Logan McGinnis, Grant Ocampo, and now Jeff Lowe. This will now be a four and a half month terminated mid June terms of the contract. Jeff is required to wear a towel and a towel only to all shows. <laughs> we need you to be blessed with a plethora of LA inside knowledge. And you are also not allowed to take off your Velcro jacket near the microphone. <laughs> uh, I can, I can make a deal with all of those. The towel, towel can be a uh, improvised. It can, it can be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I agree. Where do I sign? What What do we do here? What's we the are uh, we're signing. Hey, it, uh, hey uh, let's get, we let's get, get Jeff over here. We need let's to get, get Mike on a, a signature as well, though. Mike? Mike hasn't signed a contract yet for next term. Yeah, we'll have the Mike. We need to lock in the MOOC minute for, for his four and a half months. Yeah. And oh, there you go. There what you go. the heck? Oh, so there you go. <laughs> oh, that is classic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm making it like you know, National Signing Day here. <laughs> You might as well go Here, all take, out. take it, take it. You know what? Hold up. Let me. He doesn't need that microphone if he's just gonna use that, right? Well, that one's for show. Yeah. For, this is for show. This okay. is for. This is. So where's the, the camera at here? So okay. So if anyone's still, if anyone's tuning watching. in, sorry for the sorry for the side note, but we're taking care of business here. Here, Greg, come up to the show. Here, all right. Hey, yeah. So uh, I don't know what uh, it's a long time coming. Wait, oh, I haven't started filming yet. Ready? You only get Snapchats only like fifteen seconds, so. Uh, it's actually ten, but. It, okay, ready? <laughs> it's uh, it's been a long time coming. A lot of hard work. I'd like to thank my family, uh, my girlfriend, and everyone. Uh, proud to be joining the second string uh, sports crew. I'm the LA Insider. Woo! I'm here. Let's do it. I gotta get the other uh, upshot. Signed. It's sealed. It's delivered. Welcome, Jack. Welcome. Welcome. I'm glad, glad I could part. glad I could join the team. I feel uh feel like I found a home. Happy for these next uh, four months. Yeah. These four months about to be huge. Yeah, that needs to be framed. Man. I'm sure, you can hear all the Sorry. Snapchats replay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jeff or Jake, what are you doing? Welcome, Jeff. All right. I'm 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 storing it. All right. <laughs> there we got it. But you can turn the sound off. <laughs> but you can turn the sound off. You know, I can't be limited. <laughs> Anyways, welcome, Jeff. That uh, you got to hold on to that, keep it near and dear. Oh, I'm gonna put it on my wall, frame it. We need to also uh, we'll formulate up a contract for Mike to lock in the minute. We need to trademark that as well, by the way. Mike minute, the Mook minute, a Mook minute. Yeah, yeah, we will. All right, back to some uh, some NBA. Yeah, man, man this is just it's been a great show. Yeah, started out with. Us not even thinking Jeff would be on, and now we got a new uh, and sure quad enough, host. I got a four year, four month, uh, four month contract. Man, Man. I'm gonna, I'll tweet out that video as the official acceptance speech. What a time! Good. What a time! Man, to be alive. <laughs> you and yours versus me and mine. There it is. <laughs> All right, back That's to some M- NBA trade talk. Uh, overall, it was somewhat boring. It was very boring. I you know. Like big name wise, like I didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect the big names to get moved, as we said last. Yeah, we week. heard Blake Griffin, Dwight Hassan Howard, Whiteside, Dwight, possibly Kevin Love. Yeah, all that. And I think just what happened Another was anticlimactic deadline as usual. What happened was is just teams are just you know they they're feeling the role. Like you know Portland made the small moves. We'll talk about you guys. Yeah. We'll talk about it here soon. If we do want to talk about it, the 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 deal that was closest for Dwight is apparently he was almost was almost to going to Milwaukee, but he would not opt into the um, yeah third year on the contract. So they're not they're not going to sign him what, without what a guarantee. The, what, so do we know what the trade would have been? Uh, no, but I know Houston wasn't. 
Houston wouldn't Houston trade him for picks. out a front court player and at least two first rounders, I believe. I, I mean, I, I haven't heard the players, but I would guess it was probably Greg Monroe and a pick. If maybe I'm, two I would picks, guess. Greg and two and picks, maybe Mo- Monte Hunas. See, that, that's the thing. If I'm the if I'm the Heat or if I'm the you know if I'm the Rockets. I'm trading Ty Loss and I'm trading Dwight Howard because heck, I, I'm they're gone. Dwight's going to be gone. Dwight's going to be gone. Dwight's gone. So like, why do you even? I I just try to you know be like, hey, who has cap space? Take Dwight Howard. We'll take absolutely practically nothing. If you give me a second round pick and a uh, a decent front court a front court player and a backup yeah. guard because they're not going to. I'm taking that. They're honestly not really going. They're not going to compete deep in the playoffs. And heck, they might not even make the playoffs this year. Yeah, I think they'll probably be an eight seed. Maybe seventh, but and quick side note too: there was the story that came out that James Harden and Dwight Howard versus tried to get each other traded in 2013. Uh, so it's a mess. It's always been a mess. We've known that clearly, they've never gotten along. Clearly, that's not working out. Something's yeah. got to change there, I and mean, it's going to it, it, at it some point. Like we shouldn't be shocked. Everywhere Dwight goes, he's got an issue with the coach. He's got an issue with the player. Doesn't like his oh, touches. Yeah. You know, it's not a coincidence. Dwight's been, you know, traded three or two times, and now he's asking for a third trade out of out of Houston. So, yeah, yep, yeah. And, and, and for Miami as well, you know that Whiteside's going to get offered a lot of money. Like that's almost for sure. Yeah, and with Chris Bosh probably going to be out for a long time with another blood clot issue. Oh, that's another thing we have. That's so sad. And, I don't. And you just plagued with those issues now yeah and with with that problem with the heat i think like why why would you not just try to trade whole a song white side to somebody <laughs> like I, it, it, it all, it kind of, it, in the beginning of uh you know kind of going back to last week it looked like it was going to be white side for howard and you know that that deal never really got done but i like i like white side i don't really know white side's kind of uh half a cup of crazy i guess is the way to put it mm-hmm um, kind of, a, <laughs> kind of a head case like Dwight. Breaking news: We do have a Jeff Dyer response. <laughs> no yes. way! Ha ha! From the angle of the picture, for sure, the kid in the red. I'm curious to see other people's opinions. I'm pretty sure he's referring to Logan. Yeah, is that Logan. sure? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's Logan. Thanks, Jeff. He didn't follow us back, but <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, Jeff. Thanks. So it was me. Yeah, it's you. Hmm. That's right. awesome. That's what I thought. That's people I already mean. spoke to. It's eighty okay. percent. So if you guys are, if you guys want to look at it, head to the second string Twitter account. Yep, it's there. All right. Well, I'm glad that's out. I'm just there was this there was this confusion, that awkward tension on Facebook, and I just had I had to address now we it. Know. Now I, we know. Yeah. All right. I guess we're we're, we're now waiting on uh what is it? Uh, uh, pale skin mommy. Pale skin we're waiting mommy. for pale skin. Yeah, mommy. she ain't gonna respond. Yeah. I, I bet you she will. What's the Twitter poll at? Of for what? Of uh, hoverboard. Back oh, whatever there. it is, it's probably still in favor of yes. You never know. Yeah, sixty-eight percent to thirty-two percent, twenty-five votes. All right, all right. So back to some uh, NBA trade deadline. What else did you guys see from the? We play? already discussed the Lance Stevenson. All That's right. going to be a train wreck. Some people say before we move on. Do you think Lance performs in in Memphis? I don't. He, he no. performs better than he did in, oh, in, in L.A. for in LA. sure, but not. He's, he ain't playoff Indiana Lance. Yeah, he's not going to be blowing in anybody's ear else? anytime uh, soon. Yeah, I missed. I honestly, I do remember when that went down. Me and Logan were uh, locked away in Milne working on a uh, an animation. Todd's class. That was yeah. a very fun production. Yeah, yeah, pre nice. prod. Shout out Todd. Good old Frame Forge. Yeah, Todd will never be on the hey, show. There's also but. a Frame Forge side note that uh, Conan O'Brien actually used uh, Frame Forge. I'll show the video later. <sighs> uh, Todd will love that. Yeah. Uh, another move that happened is the Channing Fry to Cleveland, okay, but okay. that involves numerous things. Yes. So Channing Fry goes to Cleveland. Uh, uh, Portland receives Anderson Verizal, but waves Anderson Verizal, and along with that, they receive a second round pick. First round pick. First round pick. First round pick. Round pick? Yeah. Yes, for Verizal. And then Jared Cunningham went got went to Orlando, and then got gets waved, waved got by waved. Orlando. Sorry, Jared, that sucks for him. Yeah, just, he he went from euphoria to just like, oh crap. I guess so, I didn't know. I guess people in the Cavs really liked Cunningham a lot. They did. Yeah, well, you'd see the Instagram post with like LeBron James and the the squad, and you know they'd be posing, and Jared Cunningham's in every single picture. Just because so, he got swag. Cool. Yeah, 
but he, he dunked on Arizona that one time. That was cool. <laughs> so, uh, but one thing I don't understand is because, Hey, Portland, how do they do it? I don't know. They got a first round pick for Neil Olshay's GM of the year for absolutely nothing. But what doesn't make sense then is why would Cleveland do this all for Channing Fry? I actually, I think it's kind of a good move by, uh, for Cleveland, but okay. Why? Because it, it, the way I see it is Channing Fry. You know, he's like a he's just he's going to stretch the floor. He's going to shoot some threes. But why can't Kevin Love do that? Channing Fry. I think Channing Fry allows goal, allows Cleveland to go small against against uh, like a Golden, Golden State because you can now put Channing Fry at center and Kevin Love at the power forward. Okay, and you can take Tristan Thompson out of the game. Channing Fry can spread the he can spread the floor and he he shoots forty percent from the three. And there's Channing Fry 6'11", 250, and can shoot a three. Like that's that's a really rare combination. Yeah. He's a veteran. He knows how to he knows how to defend. He's played in the NBA for a while. I think it's I don't think it's enough of a move for them to beat you know a San Antonio or a Golden State. But I think it's a good move for Cleveland. I think Channing Fry he'll play okay. well, he'll play well from. Yeah, but for a first round draft pick, losing a, a guy that's been there for. Ten plus years, but but Ver- so, okay, but Verja doesn't play to yeah. begin with, and Cleveland doesn't use their draft picks. I mean, Cleveland is all they're in with winning their the draft title. picks. Yeah. They've been using them like well, Anthony Bennett aside. Well, but, Cleve- but Cleveland's not in the mindset of we're going to have a lottery pick now. True. Cleveland is in the mindset of we're going to have a win 20, right like, now. We're going to have the twenty eighth pick in the draft. That does nothing for Cleveland, you know. Yeah. So I think I think if you're Cleveland. We'll you, see how it pans you, out. It, okay, like as a Laker fan, the Lakers would always do this. They would always give up their first round pick because when they had Kobe and Powell, because they go, "Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be competing for a title. We don't need the twenty eighth pick. You know, we're gonna go get our guy in free agency." I think that's how Cleveland's approaching it. Okay, interesting. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Another thing to mention: it happened before the deadline too, but Brandon Jennings gone out of Detroit. That's good. I, Detroit is gonna be good. They're yeah. not gonna be good enough to beat, say, a Cleveland. Maybe not even a Boston, but they they got three pieces who are good and Tobias Harris, Reggie Jackson, and Andre Drummond that are all young, good players. Stan Van Gundy is building that bleep wall, yeah. as, as Stan Van Gundy likes to say. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tobias Harris, like they practically just got a free agent at and during the you know mid season. Yeah. It was, Tobias Harris is a great player. Yeah. And rolling in rolling into the, a Detroit offense now cuz now yeah. Reggie Jackson is also going to be the main point guard and that's going to be great he for Reggie have to Jackson. Doesn't worry about Brandon Jennings. Yeah. And he played way better without Brandon Jennings kind of getting a few Jen- minutes here and there Brandon this season. Brandon Jennings doesn't make, he don't, he doesn't make the Pistons a better team. You know, Jenny, he never Jennings really is a did. very ball dominant. He's like he's a very ball dominant point guard, kind of like James Harden. Takes a lot of shots. He doesn't score to that same volume as yeah. Harden, though. Yeah, I mean Jennings is kind of a guy who's very boomer bust. He had that he had like that fifty five point game. I think like his third game in the NBA, and everyone kind of thought he'd take off. And he's kind of hit his ceiling with like seventeen to nineteen points a game. Yeah, which is not bad. I mean that's hard to do in the NBA, but you're not going to win a title like that with a team like Detroit. And he can go to Orlando. Get all the stats he wants, and mm-hmm. Orlando can fade back into irrelevance. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Well, yeah. I, yeah. Before Orlando, also, I I didn't fully understand it for them as well, because Grant, like, they already have like, are they just trying to get more off, like, more offense with Brandon Jennings? Because they already have Alfred Payton, who can fill up a stat sheet, but is not a great shooter. Yeah, I thought they were trying to get kind of younger. That was why they got rid of Channing Fry, because Channing yeah. Fry is a little older on that team. You give Aaron Gordon more minutes now. Um, still have Oladipo. You still have Oladipo, Alfred Payton, Fournier yeah. is a is a good player. I mean, they have I don't want to say pieces. They have Vukovic is a nice player. They're they're really young. I think I don't know Brandon Jennings' contract situation. I'm assuming he's got an expiring contract mm. or close to expiring. So it's one of those things. All right, eat it for a year, tank a little bit, get a get a lottery pick, get better, get younger again, and just keep building. Yeah, that, that I, I'd assume. I, that, that's what I'd guess at least. All right, All another right. Blazer move. Brian Roberts from yeah. the Heat. Yeah, uh, also picked up a second round pick, um, and Blazers waived Tim Frazier. Yeah. Well, the breakdown of everything the Blazers did, they they, they waived Vera Zhao, they waived Frazier, they gave a second round pick to Orlando in that three way deal, and they received the first rounder from Cleveland. Yeah. So all in all, we received a first round pick, a second round pick, and Brian Roberts. 
And, you know, Brian Roberts, a guy who's pretty efficient. I mean, I, I didn't know too much about Nothing him. Nothing special. Who he is. I, I had to Google him. Yeah, he was a I'd Miami heard Heat of him. player for a total of two days. So, <laughs> sucks for him. I, I read something that he probably had to go through all the HR and, and the physical for yeah. Miami and then it gets traded. Now he has to do it again in Portland. But, yeah, kind of rough for him. But I, and he, he's someone who could maybe help out. I think he'll play more than Tim Frazier would well, have never played. Yeah, hardly, exactly. So. That's what I'm saying. I think that, uh, he might play a little bit. Um, I think it's an upgrade over Tim Frazier. I feel bad yeah. for Tim Frazier. Good guy in Tim. I liked him. Yeah. Uh, you guys are going to miss the, the Tim. Yeah, yeah the Chronicles. Hey. Hey. Tim's yep. a good guy, man. But He was. Yeah. It's a business. and It is a business. Got to be honest. He was not helping the Blazers in any possible way. So. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little bit bad for Dame because they were close friends. Very good friends. But, but, you know, he also understands that it's a business and... It is what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't think Damien will be, you know, no. revolting against no. the pl- against the Trailblazers. No, I don't think so. Office because they got rid of Tim Frazier. No. In the long run, though, going into this off season with a first round pick, our well, first round two picks. First what? round picks now. Our first round. No, it's just a first and a second. Well, no, but you're gonna have your own. You already you already have a first round pick in this draft plus Cleveland's pick. No, we don't. Not if we make the playoffs. Oh, you have a protect. You have a yeah, protected pick. Yeah, it's top fourteen protected. But isn't the first round pick a twenty eighteen? Uh yes. Wait, who's 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 protected yeah. pick do you have? Uh we have Who Den- is it? Uh, is it Brooklyn? No. With the Plumley deal? It, it was, might it be was Denver. A, it was Denver with the The Thomas Robinson Will Barton. Oh. A Flalo, yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. Okay. It was it was that from the Flalo deal. That makes sense. Which absolutely destroyed us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean looking back on it, not a great deal, but anyways, looking forward though, having those two picks eases up. I don't know. We're obviously. I think we're obviously making the playoffs this year. Not yeah. obviously, but no. I I'd, I'd say you're. I'd say you guys are in because I don't think Memphis is. I think Memphis well, is done. Right now. I mean, look at the standings. But I think Memphis. Memphis doesn't have a huge lead at five over Dallas. I think Gasol's out now. Mm-hmm. They got Stevenson, and Stevenson doesn't yeah, exactly the- make your team better. I think. I, I I'm I'm assuming Memphis drops out. Everybody else kind of moves in. Memphis is Memphis finishes ninth. Utah eight. <clears throat> or sorry, uh, Rockets eight, Utah seven, yeah. Blazer uh, Blazers six, and then Dallas at five. And looking at the Blazers this offseason, I want to hear Grant's opinion on this. Uh, Casey Holdout, one of the Blazers digital reporters, was on a Dirt and Sprague, a 1080 show yesterday, and he said, I do think with this team now, with Dame, CJ, Young Core, they do have the ability to actually lure a possible free agent in the offseason now. Do you agree with that, maintaining... Barring how we perform in this playoffs as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to know because it still is Portland. It, uh, they have a lot, of, a lot cloud of cap over room, the head. Uh, a lot of cap room, but I mean, that's always the, the whole thing about not being a big market. I mean, they obviously have the financials, and they do have a young core. But I mean, when you're someone like Kevin Durant or someone like that. I mean, there's going to be... No, I'm not talking the free agent of that caliber. But okay, well... I, at least I don't think. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's I'm pretty thinking, safe to say Durant's not coming to Portland. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're not... It's not like that level, Just because he's probably salty, too. Yeah, I mean, that... And, I don't think he'd go somewhere that... I mean, if, if, the, if, the ta- if the offers on the table of stay in OKC, go to the Warriors, go to Portland... Warriors. You guys are <laughs> coming in third. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. No, I agree. So I don't think to that extent, but I mean, there's pro- I don't know, kind of the the next tier down, yeah. maybe someone like that. I don't even know who's out there. So it, yeah, it's, it's hard for to me be to, a pretty big free agent class yeah. coming up, and you got the new TV deals and all that. So mm. and well, you never know. Speaking of the Warriors, the Blazers do make their uh, All Star break comeback tonight in Portland. Yep, versus the Warriors, it's gonna be a. <laughs> a tough game we on ESPN. Well they rested. did rank the Warriors' whole road trip, though, in the percentage-wise of their most likely loss, and we are seventy-eight percent most likely to beat them. Seventy-eight percent to beat. No, it was. Are you it sure was it's not the other way It was seventy-eight percent chance to, to win for the Warriors. Is what ah, it was. dang! So we were. We were the <laughs> man. I watched that way too ambitious. So we were the easiest team to beat. Okay, never mind. Said. False. Man, okay. you uh, probably didn't. You probably should go back and not yeah. bring that on the radio. <laughs> I'll bleed that out when I post this. Yeah. I'll just bleep that segment. But just so there would be a that, weird glitch. I knew it was too good to be true. I was getting ready to go to class, and I saw it on the screen, and I saw what I wanted to see. <laughs> but you never know. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, you never know. It's a young team that tries hard and they're at I home mean, and if the well Bucks rested, can do it, so we can do it. Right? Well, look it's just, possible. Just but. look like if you just look at the West standings right now it's and it's from the eighth seed, it's right now it's a losing record with the Rockets. Yeah. Twenty seven to twenty eight. Well the Rockets aren't in eighth, Utah is. No, the Rockets are. Really? Utah. No, I, thought, I thought Utah was nine. Utah's okay. at nine. Rockets, I thought the Rockets were nine and Utah was eight. Utah's at nine right now, at twenty six and twenty seven, gotcha. and the Rockets have twenty seven and twenty eight. So they have a, oh, man. they have a, an extra victory. So that's yeah. Um, but yeah, just looking at like you know the teams under five hundred, it just kind of shows like all right, yeah. I think the I definitely think the Blazers are going to make playoffs this year. I think the Blazers could squeak up to fifth. Yeah. And that'd be insane. Blazers yeah. Clippers first round. Yeah, I could. Well, which is I could probably see our it. most doable well, first round as here's well. The, yeah, because here's the thing: it just depends on really do the Grizzlies slide. Oh yeah, hundred oh, right percent. Because right now, right now the Grizzlies are thirty one and twenty two. Lance Stevens going to take that team down to the bottom of the do ocean. They just get a few. Do they get a few victories where it's too tough for say Portland to get a. Catch up, mm. you know, but I don't think it does because I, I think Grizzlies slide. I think Mavericks. Could jump up right now. They're at twenty nine and twenty six, but I can also. I see think them Mavericks will be around down. seventh. Uh, I think the Mavericks will. Honest, I think they'll finish more towards fifth. Yeah. Do, do you think the Jazz stick in the run or? I, not? Think, I think the Jazz make it. I, I think, think the, the Jazz, Jazz make are a good playoffs. Team. At eight, maybe. Uh, they make it. They they make it. Eight. They they had a sneaky trade. They got Shelvin Mack. Shelvin Mack is a good <laughs> point guard, and Utah's had some trouble at point guard play. <laughs> uh, intern Mike is a huge Butler fan. <laughs> and uh, he's over here just smirking All away about, because uh, Gordon Hayward pronounced Gordon. So yeah, if uh, if Mike couldn't be a Trailblazers fan, he would be a, a Utah fan proclaimed. Going back mm-hmm. to the uh, free agency thing, there's a there's a good number of free agents in 2016. Harrison Barnes, Demar Derozan. See, I'm I'm thinking more I, of a player like that. Barnes, I think for sure could go to Portland. You were the one who just brought it up a few weeks ago. I think you said. Uh, I think yeah, Barnes and the Barnes uh, and Dame Oakland Barnes connection. Barnes and Dame are, are friends, and especially if if KD does go to Golden State, you got to assume Harrison Barnes is probably gone. On the way out, yeah. Um, but you got guys: Eric Gordon, Pau Gasol, Festus Azili, Joakim Noah, Kent Bazemore, a Fournier from the Magic, Jordan Clarkson, Timofey Mozgov. These are kind of like. The lesser guys in the uh, yeah. See, that's that's more. Pau Gasol could be an interesting Jennings one. is an unrestricted free agent next year. I don't know if I'd want Pau Gasol in Portland. Ryan Anderson. Eh. I'm thinking oh, more of these yeah. like Boban. Demar Derozan type players. Boban. That's all possible. For Demar Derozan it. would be a great pick for a great get for Portland. Dude, I don't know. I don't a, know if he like, leaves Toronto. He's though. an unreal human being. He's just ginormous. Oh, Boban. <laughs> Boban. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you, see the car did you see the car it's commercial crazy. that he did? Man, yeah. That was funny. Pretty funny. Yeah. I follow him on Instagram. It's pretty funny. Uh, Boban. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. big human. All right. We're uh, we're somewhat running in low on time here. So we're at 157. Man. I mean, we could just... Three faithful just, minutes. Only if we could just extend it to more. Three hour show. <laughs> I think that'd be pushing it. <laughs> We'd be on crockpots for the last half hour. Yeah, uh, we could do another hour. I mean, yeah, we come could. on. You know, you could do another hour. Easily could. True. Now that we got the newest signee. Yeah. All right. So it's official. Yeah, it's official. <laughs> so coming up this upcoming week, there's women's basketball. Uh, Lady bees are balling out. Uh, men's basketball. Head in Oregon, coming back Tomorrow, home after that, yep. doing Washington series week following that. So we'll uh, we'll be talking about the uh, Civil War ne- from next for next week's show, mm-hmm. as, along with the Washington's games. So and baseball today, yeah, yeah. playing Ball State, playing Ball State. I have to check. I think up that on actually that. started at noon. Yeah, let's see. We're in uh, Arizona right now. Far, I'm assuming the weather's far better than uh, here right now. I mean, it, the sun poked out now. It's classic bipolar Corvallis. Yeah. Right. All they right. are up 4-3 in the bottom of the six. Nice. There it is. All right. All right. Well, that's it for uh, yeah. our television debut. It was a special was one. You got to witness history. You got to yep. witness uh, the first time on television and the first probably ever KBVR TV signing of Jeff Lowe. Yeah, that's yep. true. He was a coveted free agent. He was being sought after by U of O, Washington State radio shows. Plenty well, of. Uh, it's you know I was never going to go to U of O. Uh, Washington State was definitely in the running, but uh, in the end, you know I went with my heart. Stayed where uh, stayed where I'm loved and stayed where I wanted to be. Feel, yeah, it feels like a family here. So 
All right. Are you going to break the news to your parents? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I'm either going to send them Is a picture. Is Corduroy Poppy going to Instagram the contract? Uh, I can actually. I, I can do that <laughs> right now. Want us to take a pic of you holding up the contract? Yeah, let's do it. I'll put my LA hat on and All I'll, right. I'll do it. Well, you heard it here. New co-host. You can expect the five of us uh, every Friday. Second String Sports on 88.7 FM and Channel 26 KBVR. Stay tuned for next week. Watch the Beavs on Saturday. Beat the Ducks, hopefully. And yeah, have a good weekend. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. It's Second String, but we all never sit the bitch. Rising stars of the radio that watches we ascend. Second String telling the truth. There's no need to take offense. Red Jake Logan in the booth, so you better pay attention.